Hello, hello. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna just gonna eat my last biscuit. All right, I, I got I got my tea and biscuits because I'm British. I just gotta eat, eat my last biscuit and I'll be right there. Okay. All right, there we go. What kind of biscuit? A digestive. I'm also eating biscuits and drinking tea. Excellent, yes. All right, by the way, the music I'm playing is um, something I just was suddenly reminded of recently, which is this. Anyone play this, this Nitrum game, Icebreaker? All of the uh, like high quality music for uh, Nitrum games got uploaded, and I was like, "This is actually a really good song from this little Flash game." Nitrum had a lot of good uh, music actually, and good games generally, but none of their stuff got uploaded to Flashpoint. Well, it did, and then they asked Flashpoint to take all the games down because they're remaking the games themselves uh, into like non-flash versions, HTML5 or something. So they didn't want them to be archived because they're doing their own versions, which is understandable. This was a good one as well. Ah, yes. I should probably find some kind of thing to put in the background, but... The main uh, idea for today I wanted to do is actually have a little peruse of the Flipline Studios wiki and uh, learn about some of these characters a little bit more because I'm always kind of assuming things about some of them. And then sometimes people have to tell me in the comments, oh, you know, actually, it's blah, 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 this person's actually related to them and blah, blah, blah. And I think there's even a little page on here I looked at which had all the different, like, how characters are related to each other. Pelletaria is coming out soon, isn't it? What is it, four days left? Yes, hello everyone that said hi. Toenails on that popsicle. What? <laughs> I'm assuming that's coconut. <laughs> Oh my god. New holiday ingredient, guys. Welcome to... Ooh, I don't know why. I don't want to think what kind of holiday that is. Welcome to human body parts holiday. I've saw some of them myself. So avoiding making healthy papas games. Well, I guess it is fast food chains. Or in this case... Ice creams. This definitely was a surprise. I'm sure, like most people, I hadn't heard of a paletta before. But it's kind of cool. Actually, we should have a look at some of this. Let's have a look at those updates again. Uh, I just disgusted myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we can see some of the pictures on here, actually. Mm. I might try and find some kind of background music though, so it's not quite as weird, voidy. Uh, oh, that's strange. That's gone across. Well, uh, usually I play something like really chill. Um, let's see if I can find it. Something with a bit ambience or Halo 3 ODST soundtrack is always really good for that. This is this is nice and chill. I just realized I was meant to write window on my OBS and I wrote widno, but okay. In Spanish and Mexican I grew up with it. That's pretty cool. I was expecting soup and stew game to be honest. Yeah, there's still possibilities I guess, aren't there? I mean, sometimes I think what else could they possibly do, but they're the ones creating it so they probably got better ideas than I could have.
Gonna get all gold stars within the fortnight of release. Speaking of Fortnite, I don't mean the game, but Fortnite, a, you know, a two-week period. I was thinking, when it comes to like streams like this, I'm not going to necessarily do it consistently from this point on, but at some point, maybe when I'm a bit bigger of a channel, I would like to do maybe every two weeks, every fortnight, do a stream and not, you know, not playing a game, not recording for a video, just a sort of hangout stream, talky stream, because I really think... Um, Streaming and recording videos should be separate things Because if you're trying to stream and make content for a video at the same time your mind's split into two places You're trying to focus on the game and commentary and you're trying to focus on talking to chat And that's just two things and you can't do either of them perfectly I mean, You can't do anything perfectly. <laughs> Only Papa can be perfect. But you can't do either of those things Ideally, so I'd rather just like have my videos be videos and my streams be streams but this is the, the mold station, look. Of course, this is the third mobile exclusive game, uh, along with Mockeria and Cluckeria. Yeah, Popsicles is copyrighted name, right? Do, 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 do. I see pineapple though, so I'm already very interested. Uh, here's the freezing station. I need to look at the articles really, these are just pictures. Uh, sneak peeks, let's have a look at these that they've been doing. <gasps> uh, whoa. Wow, fashion. Soup and salad place? Hmm. Could be. We could do that. Where's the fish and chips? Where's... Yes, I think someone said on an old video, Papa's Chipperia. <laughs> they can have a place where it's always raining outside because it's set in a London-style town. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wilma, thanks for the $5... What are these things called on YouTube? Super Chats? Yeah, Super Chats. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and it's really fun. been hearing a bit about it because of a server I'm in with some friends, and they've been talking about it in there. I don't know what they're going on about because I don't know much about Final Fantasy, but despite being mostly known on YouTube for Kingdom Hearts, which is Final Fantasy adjacent, but, you know, it was always more the Disney stuff, but, you know. Strawberry and cream ones. You know, do you remember those... um? Strawberry and like, they were called like strawberry and cream flavor, like little sweets and they had little, little like uh, white stripes in them. What were they actually called? I always liked those. I never seen them around anymore. When are you going to play Papa's Freezer Red Deluxe? Well, that, should, that one should be coming relatively soon. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to do that first, or if I'm going to do a return video, like, uh, I had my eyes on doing Return to Burgeria, because, you know, Burgeria HD and to go, it's still the most simple Papa's game, it doesn't have any holidays, there's no version of Burgeria that has holidays, specials, custom workers, anything like that, Burger is really simple, so I thought that'd be quite an easy one just to sort of knock out, um, but I don't know if I'm doing that first or freezer at first. I'm a little ladder like berries and cream. <laughs> uh, surprise hasn't been a town builder's papa's game allows you to make a town full of restaurants. They probably could. They've got this whole, like, um, style, I guess, now. They've got the Papa Louis Pals, and then they had the platformer games as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if... 
at some point maybe they do some other style game as well. I guess it's just not as... It's a bit of a risk because it's not necessarily going to make them money like any of these sorts of things will, which are guaranteed to be in, have interest. Um, nice Peppers games. Uh, Freezer Raid Deluxe, Mokaria to go, Cluckeria to go, Palateria to go, and then like some of the other flash, uh, mobile versions of the Flash ones. Actually, I have a table. Uh, I have to take a picture of it, but I got like a table showing which version I'd probably play. Like a, what's it called? I don't know, I just... I guess it's called a table I can't remember, like a fucking a grid with all the details in it. Clucker is one of the most fun ones to say, for sure. Anyway, look, here's the, here, this was the, um, the first detailed part about it. Oh, well, actually, it's just saying, look, hey, you make... Popsicle Ice Lolly, that's what they're called here in the UK. Well, it depends who you ask. Ice Lolly, but yeah, that's usually the one. And an ice cream bar. Yes, middle ground. Hmm. Okay. Halloween, San Francisco, uh, that's fine. Don't worry about that too much. Looking at the stations is what I'm trying to look at. The build station. Looks complicated. Yeah, I guess a spreadsheet, but like a mini one. And yeah, I probably will just be emulating uh, the the mobile ones. I have to buy them anyway. I'm not stealing them. I'm just buying them and then emulating just to make it easier for me to record. Uh, it does mean using a mouse, but the emul blue stacks is pretty good generally, like, from what I've tested with it. You can actually do these touch things with a mouse fine, so it might be a little bit awkward, but I don't know, it's just a lot easier for me than it is to uh, record it on a phone where I really don't trust that it's going to... the recording's going to be great, and then i got to sync up to my audio track, and I don't want to deal with that, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna emulate those, I think and I want to play some of the HD ones instead of to-go ones um, those HD ones, like, I have to emulate because I don't have a tablet that will play them, so <laughs> Yeah, well, I have to just see how it goes, really. If it turns out where it's like, actually, this just really doesn't work out very well, then I'll just, the backup option will be, I'll just record them on my phone and record my audio separate and sync it. So it's not like it's a this or nothing, but I want to try emulating it first. Either way, I'll buy the game, and then if it doesn't work on emulator, I'll just play it on phone anyway, so. Either way, I'm buying the games. Either way, Papa's getting my money. <laughs> no, it's not like they're expensive. They're only like a, a quid or a couple of quid each, so it's, it's hardly a hardly a big purchase. But yes, look, paletta molds. Ah, you got the different types of molds here. Smiley face. Uh, oh, my mouse isn't there. Hold on. Please capture cursor, OBS. Come on, come on. Alright, I think it's there. Oh yeah. Uh, but you got a different moulds. Here's the... Filling it up with the stuff. Banana custard, alright. Look at this, this is heavy duty stuff, isn't it? Big old machine. You know, the tickets, before I actually play the game, the tickets always look so confusing. I'm looking at this like, what is going on here? But, um, I'm sure it makes sense in the game. Time your button press. Okay, button timings, as usual. It's fine. 
What was the next one? Chill station. Everybody chill. Mold will slide into view at the bottom center of the station. Drag it to an available slot in the deep freezer. So it's obviously it's chilling instead of cooking. Uh, oh, my shoulder's still messed up. Once the mold's settled into place, the contents will slowly chill until complete frozen. So don't let it overfreeze, don't let it not freeze and just be slush. Simple enough, that's always the simple station. And the top station. Oh, hang on, I want to see what it looks like when they're uh, mushy and... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a Sonic ice cream. And then these, this one's freezer burnt, so it's pretty ugly and pretty hard. Not very nice. And then the top station, the fun part, obviously. Yeah, the thing about the mobile layouts, at least the to-go layouts, is they have this... you got to scroll through because there's not enough space to have all the ingredients sat there. So you got to scroll through a thing. Which obviously is not as nice, especially with a mouse, as having everything just there for you to grab and place. Uh, but for the three mobile exclusive games, that's just you're gonna have to deal with it. There's no other choice. Cooking station, but cold. Targeted ads. Oh well, I mean, hey, <laughs> hey, that makes sense. Uh, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, well, I mean. I think the old Five Nights at Freddy's, I do have, I, I respect the old ones, because they were pretty unique at the time. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Oh, I can make topping jokes again. Yay! <laughs> Drag his icon to the center slot. Uh, pull the tumbler. Oh, yeah, so you've got to pull this thing. And then it sticks it on there. Yeah. And you got all oh, drizzly things. And you got to rotate it. Yeah, I mean, when you've got two fingers and you're on a phone, you can do this all nice and fast. <laughs> With a mouse, it's not going to be as fast, so I just, I'll see how it goes with Mockery, basically. And then, if I need to switch to actually playing it on the phone. My phone's powerful enough to do it, it's just... <sighs> I'd rather not, but... I want to actually take a bite of those pixels. Well, they're doing a good job then, aren't they? Best games to eat as you watch, or play if the game's easy enough. Eating and watching food being made while you eat. Or at least, I guess you can't get hungry because you're eating. But... Yeah, so that's pretty much the lowdown on that. Oh, they got the food truck in this one, which I haven't played a game with the food truck yet. But you could just make what you want and then see who turns up, right? I guess that's kind of cool. I was not used to have to play the mouse for 100 hours, really. Oh, oh right, I see what you're saying, yeah. I have to play it with touchscreen for hundreds of hours, yeah. I got options anyway, so it's, yeah, it's fine. I, either way. Did a little tester. Do a little, like, test run, and then, yeah, I won't record it, maybe. Do a test run. And if I think it's okay, then I'll actually record it. It wouldn't be the first time that I um, played the game a bit before I actually recorded it. Actually, that's what happened with Sushiri. Sushiri, I wasn't really happy with um, the initial recording, like, for the first however much of the game. I was like, ah, I'm not really happy with that. And Jim Allen was a bit different. I didn't really like how Jim Allen was, so I wanted to redo it, so I did. But I just pretended it was the first time. Ah. 
Yeah, okay, well, that's, that's all pretty standard stuff. That's what I'd expect. Burgerzilla's coming back. I actually like Burgerzilla, so cool, I guess. I mean, I've been playing these all so quickly one after the other that the fact that it's coming back doesn't even clock to me because I saw it fairly recently, but... The representative colour for this game area is magenta. Yes, and that's the other thing I wanted to look at, actually. So, it's all very strange how they did these games. Jim Allen, we didn't get to meet. Um, he was basically the same, but he had spiky anime, like anime hair, because he was going to be, like, really tryharding. And I was like... Uh, I'll just do him more sort of like as he is and then he sort of morphed into a serial killer which wasn't the original intention But as soon as I saw that knife, I knew what I had to do Does what exist IRL? Yeah, Jack Smith is something I should have a look at as well at some point I mean, I did start recording Papa Louie 2, and then I really didn't like it, and the game was annoying me a bit, so I dropped it. I might end up going back at some point, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I was recording it, I was like, this is just not going to make for a good video. Maybe I need to play through the whole thing myself first, before recording it, like I did for the first game. Make weapons instead? Hmm. Not as uh, appetizing, but pretty cool. Weapons are cool. Unless you're a sword swallower, I guess then it's cool. But here's what they did with the apps, look. The app versions. Burgeria was the first one they did an app for. And as such, it's still very primitive. Freezer is there, but then we got Freezer Deluxe, so that kind of makes up for that. Um, Jim Allen's brother, Jack Smith. <laughs> and then, yeah, so Burger is primitive in any version. Then they did HD Winger Rear, so there's no holidays in that. Uh, but the to go one does have holidays, so I have to do that one if I do it. To go uh, Pizzeria, kind of the same deal, but the opposite, because that's HD to, and then to go is better. But with Pizzeria, to go is quite primitive, but HD is better, so I need to play the HD Pizzeria. And then, alright, see a, a Pony Factory. And then, um, Cupcake Rear is unfortunate as well, because. It has holidays, just like the Flash one, but it doesn't have specials, just like the Flash one. So with Cupcake Area, these aren't really any better than the Flash one. In fact, I'd rather play the Flash one, because with these, uh, the gameplay is... You don't top the cupcakes the same way, obviously. Because it's on a, a tablet or mobile. I don't know, maybe it doesn't show it here. It might show it for the to-go one. Uh, oh yeah, no, here, look. Yeah, so what you do is you move the cupcake, it squirts it down, and you move the cupcake side to side, rather than you, like, spiralling the thing yourself. It's just not quite as satisfying, I don't think, doing it like that. And since it's not really any better than Flash Cupcake Area, there's no specials in any of them. I may as well just stick with a Flash one if I do any more for old Depressy No Name. Um, I don't know yet. But... Yeah, and then we've got stuff like, this is a bit weird because we've got the HD Taco Mir and then to go Taco Mir. And then the HD's the one I'd do for that. But like, one of them has custom workers and one of them doesn't, even though they came out like pretty quickly after one another. Weird. Same for this. I think HD Hot Dog Array has custom workers and the to go doesn't. Why? I don't really know. But then uh, they got to Scooper here. That was the last time they did a HD separate tablet one. And then they just started doing to-go ones for both H uh, for both tablet and phone. It just scales. Uh, slider Scouts. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've played. In <laughs> what even is this? Is this like just the same as the mini game? What in the? F what is this? Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's a more advanced version of, oh god, yeah. Well, I'm not bothering with that. 
I don't think I'm going to get any content out of that. More customers at different holidays? Yeah. Why did you get Freeza Rear Deluxe Makeover? Yeah, I think it was the most popular. When I was younger, I always found it to be my favorite as well. It must be something special about Freeza Rear. Because <laughs> I always liked it. I wonder if they do another Deluxe, which one will it be? What do you think? I think maybe they should do Cupcake Rear to try and bring it up to modern standards. I don't think they'll bother with Burger Rear because Burger Rear's like mechanics are already kind of covered by uh, partly by Cheese Rear, especially by Clucker Rear. So I, I don't really see the point in them trying to like update Burger Rear. I think it just is what it is. It's just the dud of the franchise, <laughs> unfortunately. Hot Dog Rear is my favorite. I don't even know what my favorite is at the moment. Hmm. I think cupcake rear would be a good idea. Uh. You think that is scoop rear because it's the next most popular? Hmm. I guess, or do they maybe want to think? Oh, we could do a savory game now instead of a sweet game. I don't know. They, I'm sure they'll just look at what's popular, what makes sense. Yeah, burger is so outdated, but I just don't really. I don't think they'll see much point in updating it. But they'd have to come up with a fourth station as well, and they've already done like fries in cheeseria, and they've already done slushies and cluckeria. So I don't know. I think burger is just a little bit. It's not much potential, I guess. Oh, it's a tower defense game? Oh, okay. Slider scouts. As far as, uh, yeah, I said it in the video, but as far as this, 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 and this. No, not that. Uh, yeah, cheeseria, bakery, sushiria, scooperia. I don't even need to. I don't need to even think about playing the app versions because, I mean, there's not much different from the Flash version, right? So why would I play a more awkward gameplay version of the same thing? The Flash version has. If I want to do any sequels, I mean, the Flash version has specials. It has holidays. It has dining room. I mean, that would have delivery phone, but basically the same thing. And. Uh, Stickers for most of them. I mean, Cheese Rare doesn't, but I don't really care about the stickers anyway. So I'm like, if it has holidays, at a minimum, if it has holidays, that's good. If it has specials, even better. If it has custom workers, really nice, because I can make my dumbass little characters. Get super intense and hectic by the time you get to rank 12 or somewhere near there. Yeah, I mean, I remember doing uh, Pancake Rear. It feeling quite hectic when I got to that point. Uh, that's the one I did on stream on Twitch as well. I did it for five hours trying to get the, um, the drink station unlocked. That's funny because... Yeah, the mobile, the app versions, they've already got the drink station unlocked from the start, haven't they? So, I don't need to be doing some nonsense unlocking waiting again, which is quite nice. I think there's a reason they only did that once. <laughs> unlocking a whole station. Just have it from the start. Wish I made more Steam games because Freezer isn't my favourite. Oh, it'd be so cool to see lots of them like get Steam releases, wouldn't it? But I imagine it's a lot of work making it. I wonder what if they'll do another one now, though. Now they've done... Now that Palateria is about to come out, maybe it's time for another Deluxe. Since we had Freezer Red Deluxe. Was the 
thing they released before Pelletaria, right? Um, yeah, Cluckeria came out, and then Freezeria Deluxe came out, and then Pelletaria is coming out. So they could do another Deluxe one, maybe. For me, though, when it comes to videos, I am, of course, going to focus on what I find the most interesting. Definitely this. I really want to see Pizzeria with all the modern stuff. I think that would be quite cool. A nice little throwback as well. Sushiri Deluxe. Mm. I quite like Donuts are rare, actually, thinking about it. I did quite enjoy it. Maybe that's just because the blah blah was there. But he's such a silly guy. It'd be great if you just wave a magic wand and then, like, hey, there's a deluxe version for all 17 games. <laughs> That'd be great, but uh, not such a thing. But I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, actually, we could probably do this now. Um, someone asked on one of my posts, how do I make the thumbnails? And I thought that'd be a kind of interesting thing to do on stream. I don't really want to do that as its own video, because I prefer the videos to just be what a video should be, which is content, I guess. <laughs> content! <laughs> But I can do it here. Uh, so I use GIMP to make the thumbnails uh, because basically free Photoshop. I mean, it's a lot rougher to look at than Photoshop, but once you know your way around, it's not so bad. Um, and I, the thumbnails I'm making are pretty simple. So, But what I do usually is... 1280 by 780, uh, 720, that's YouTube thumbnail size that they want. So, blast your eyeballs with some white screen there. Uh, if I get up, maybe... Just, I'm not going to do the entire thing, because it takes a bit of time, but... Like, if I just... Make a weird fusion thumbnail here, or something. Uh, let's bring up Scooperia's background. Let's use... Oh, no, let's not use that. I'm just hiding the screen because I have to bring up the files and I don't want anything with my name on it or something to potentially show up, but... Alright, let's use that. And then... Yeah, let's do that. So sad using ODST music. Gives it a bit of a moody vibe, this stream. Yeah, so usually what I do is I have... I get the background from the parade. In the early videos, it wasn't the parade, it was the... Well, they might not have even had the parade. But, um... It was the... Like, just shot of the restaurant. But then I started using the parade background, because it's usually pretty clean. Sometimes there's a little bit of foodini, but I just get rid of that. Uh, let me have a look at this. Pizza are deluxe is the most potential. Breadsticks, deep dish type pizza specials. That's true. I wouldn't mind that because I like pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? <laughs> Come on. Uh... Stuffed crust, yeah.
Um, oh yeah, anyway, I was getting distracted there. Usually I just take a screenshot from the game of the character reacting, but what I'm probably going to do from now on, because it's high quality, which you can see just by looking at this, is just use Papillary Pals. Although you have to buy like packs of the characters for certain games on Papillary Pals, so it probably depends which character. But there are a lot, like they can scale up way bigger, so that's obviously nicer, whereas this is a bit blurred because it's from a Flash game screenshot. Um, So, I mean, then you just go on, uh, I just go on this free select tool and I just cut around the character, when it messes up, just cut around the character like that, cut around the whole thing, you know, I don't need to do the entire thing here, I think you see what I'm doing, but, yeah, blah, 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 you cut around her like that, and then select invert so we get anything outside, add alpha channel we need to do here on the layer that I'm on, because uh, otherwise it would be white. Then we get that cut out, right? Deselect that. And I have them over there. Oh yeah, usually there's a lot of the background there as well, so you can just quickly go on Crop Tool and isolate it. Gets rid of all the rest of it. But I have them there like that. And... Uh, just to show that, I'll just use me. There we go. And then I just do the same thing for all of uh, all of the stuff, like the cupcakes, cut around those. That's a throwback, pancakes. Whatever it is. Just do the same thing. Use the free select, cut around them. And then I just layer them up in the layers here. And the ones that are slightly more distant, like if I go on... Um, find an older one, or just, yeah, I'll just use Scooper here. For the, uh, the, f the, like, background layers, just blur them a bit so they look a bit more in the background. Using, uh, here, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, usually use, and you can blur that. And then the last little thing I like to do is uh, a Nova, which I didn't do for a while, but I do like the Supernova effect, which is this thing. And not just because it's called Nova, but uh, usually, yeah, so I'll copy the character. Just copy and paste the character like that. So there's two. And then the one behind, I'll do... Uh, Colors, threshold, make that completely white. So I realized actually, slight mistake on this, I didn't cut out this bit inside. Actually, no, I did. You know, that's just a bit, that's just a Nova looking like that. Then I do a blur on that. So I have like a sort of just glow effect around the character. And then the Nova, I actually just copy and paste this from where like the default one, which I have kept somewhere. Oh yeah, it's my Sims 3 thumbnail. Yeah, behind Voxen is like a basic white one, so I just use this, and I just change the color like that. Minus the opacity, you can get rid of some of the color while keeping the rays. If you don't want it so strong, intense. Go over here, minus the opacity, make it less strong. Like that, you know, that's all pretty easy enough. And then... Yeah, we can just have whatever, right? That's copied her, but... So that's all I really do for it. I mean, I might do different thumbnails for different things, because this is the same consistent style, which is nice. Um, but other things might need some other style. I used to more so show the ones I messed up, but now I tend to do a mix of, like proper ones like that, and then messed up ones like this abomination. <laughs> Decapitated Scarlet, I know. Oh, so there's some pineapple and pizza business going on.
bacon pizza. Oh yeah, well, a little bit, yeah, little bits of bacon. For some reason I was thinking like an entire just like rasher of bacon streaked across the top of it. Maybe people do that, I don't know. Uh, you know, originally I had this thumbnail like... This is kind of the thing I overthink sometimes, but I had the thumbnail like that. The bananas really sticking up like that, and I was like, uh, um, I don't know if Amy would appreciate me doing that. So, you know, I, I changed that because it seemed a bit like... Poor Amy, I felt like that was kind of humiliating. <laughs> this just looks like... <laughs> yes, it's my smiley pancake, pe <laughs> my pancake uh, smile. How did I do this? We've invaded your chat. <laughs> but that's basically that, so... If anyone's ever, like, curious, I can just point them to this stream, which will still be there as, like, a archive on the live section of the channel, so... Let me go back to the wiki, though. Uh, as far as the whole pineapple thing, I'm sure when I play Pizza HD, I'll have like, uh, I'll, I'll mention it. Uh, but I, I, you know, I've had pineapple pizza before and it was okay because pineapple and cheese does work. Um, but I don't think pineapple and pizza, I don't, I don't really like it that much. I'd much rather have something else. I don't hate it, but I just, the pineapple just doesn't quite feel right to be on there. Happy pancake. <laughs> what is... Oh, this is... Oh, this is... The map of... Oh, i got to see this. Can I see the map bigger? Why is it in this tiny little box? How do I... Ah! I want to see it as a full-size thing. Uh, map. I don't know if that's going to work. No. Flip verse. Let's try that. Flip first. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh shit! I've never seen this before. Okay. Well, I've probably seen it on the side and just didn't notice it. But so this is actually the flip verse place. So the original place is that Tastyville, right? Yeah, and then Burger Burr is like a town right next to it. Uh, we got Onion Town from Scooperia down there. We got San Fresco Wharf. Maple Mountain, of course. Whisk View from uh, Bakery. Uh, what was New Pepperton? Oh, that's Mockery, right? Okay. Starlight City from Wingeria, of course. Calypso Island from Freezeria. Toastwood from Cheeseria. Taco Dale from Taco Mia. Portolini from Pastoria. Oilseed Springs from Cluckeria. Sakura Bay from uh, Sushiria and Frostfield. Cupcake area and then Powder Point for Donut area. Hmm. Look at this. Crazy. All the lore. We've got this icy place up here as well. Hmm. My country invented kiwi on pizza. I've heard of banana on pizza before, so honestly, pineapple seems pretty normal. Pineapple doesn't get unlocked in Pizza HD until rank 42. What? What? Why would they do this? Strawberry on pizza. Yeah, I feel like... Just putting... <laughs> anything now at this point. We invented to put fries on pizza and call it a day, so we're not much better. What was it I saw recently? The um, KFC, uh, it's just a fried chicken with cheese and pepperoni on top. What? What? What's the point of that? It's just a gimmicky uh, fast food chain thing, isn't it? Uh. The entire map is the entire planet. Oh my god. That's it. It's just like a um, 
supercontinent, and then this bit. Oh yes, but we have the much more place from the the uh, platformer games as well, don't we? The other dimension. Hmm. Jack Smith universe. Cactus McCoy universe. Oh my god, the multiverse. There's much more in Papillary 2. There's much more in Papillary 3. Cactus McCoy, I've never played that. KFC is horrific. I don't like it either. Well, it's edible, but I've had it t like twice in my life, and I, both times I was like, "This is just very disappointing." <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's just, I, just, I mean, unless you mean it's horrific because of what they're doing to the chickens, in which case, yeah, also that. But I don't know. I, I had it, and I was like, "Why is this so hyped?" Maybe it's just not good here in the UK. I was like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have animal cruelty, can you please at least make it taste good? But um, look at this! Look at all these characters. Fucking Sarge, so big. And you got sick twice. That's so uh, definitely worse than what happened to me. Just oh, it didn't taste nice. Chupo. Oh, okay, so there's actual descriptions for Hapalore. And hello drops a Jupiter and Ola, by the way. UK bans a lot of the ingredients. Oh, do we? Is it like insane chemical stuff that <laughs> that makes your brain like it? <laughs> Cats? Okay. Oh yes, um, I wanted to see, maybe we should just go on like a, oh, let's have a look at the man himself, Papa Louie, let's zoom in a bit on this, got a lot of wasted space. I like how the first thing says is a male customer, I know why, because he can be a customer, but <laughs> he's the main protagonist of the Papa Louie franchise. Oh, fancy papa, wow. Roy and Joy, obviously, he's the uncle of. I think I've seen one video come up uh, before on it. He's also a scam artist, a main antagonist. Uh, a lovable Italian chef. You've got to start selling delicious pizzas. I don't know why Vibes is reading this. Wow, look at this update. Well, yeah, it's, it's more detailed, you can see that. Blah, 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 outfit, 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 that's great. Whoa! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, oh. Bloody fandom wiki, what is this? I don't- I haven't watched Honest trailers in like 10 years, man. I don't care. Um, damn, this style- look at this. That's a fucking- I mean, he's rocking that. Oh, thanks, um, Cat, for the- the little- what are they called on YouTube as well? Donation, I guess. I don't even know what the names of things here are. Super, the Super Chats. I don't even know what I've got turned on. But I guess that's turned on. Papa Louie made outfit reveal. Oh my god. Canonically a priest? Yeah, because he, um, 
did the wedding, right? Oh, that's oh, that's what it is. That's his wedding. That's when he was doing the wedding. That's what the elf is, right? Uh, okay. Oh my god, look at all this. Everything he orders. I haven't unlocked him in any game, although I played as him for Burger Air Flash because the archive was the Congregate version, I think. So that was interesting, but... Stickers. I want to look at the pictures, though. Where's the pretty pictures, hmm? Oh my god. Alright, there's all the orders. There's the orders. There's him celebrating. I kind of want to make Papa mad. If I ever get to a point of unlocking him, then I, I want to make him mad just to see that. It feels kind of wrong. Oh god, Papa jump scare! Oh my goodness. Hello, stars things. Go to the Shadow Realm, I know. Oh wow, look at him here. <gasps> oh no! It's the last thing we need, Zombie Papa. Oh yeah, the plush. Here he is, um, about to make some people's lives change forever. Apparently there's a plush, or there was at one point. Yeah, there's fan art on here as well. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best fan art. That's the epitome of fan art right there. <laughs> can we just... Can the alternate styles in the games just be making the customers look like this? You don't need a body. I don't know where the food's gonna go, but you don't need it. Your profile pic. Oh, I don't like realistic Papa. I mean... Good job, but uh, oh, it's creepy to look at. Goomba Papa. <laughs> Russell Lawn looks Papa and Freezer Rear just to make him mad. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay, well that's all about Papa. Um, anyone get like linked from here? We can check out anyone else. Have we got here? Oh, that's not not a lot on the um, like just the drop down, but is there? But oh, it's my favorite Quinn! Yay! Quinn, the prosecutor. Loves coffee, hates long lines. Well, you're telling me. A long time partner, Tim, abruptly left. Quinn only finds time once a week to dine out. Oh, what a hardship. And can be extra picky with her meals. Yeah, she always is. She's a cat girl, though. Let's not forget. She's got her cat girl side. You know. You never know what's uh, what someone does in their in their spare time, you know. So, all right, good night, Ash. Don't look at the April Fool's prank that they did in 2016. Oh, but that's tempting now. Hello. Oh, look, got something else going on here for Quinn. And then we go through all of this. Oh, I want to look at the trivia. Quinn and Jojo are the only customers to be closers in all game areas since the concept was introduced. She helped Sarge Fan legally change his name. She 
Chi, Giorgito, and Johnny are the only customers to order nine of something. There's so much trivia. It's like, this is the only Papa's game that has this, but also not that, but this. Hmm. Mm, yes. Oh, oh my god, people know so much. I guess that's the point of a wiki, though. Collate everything together. I saw the uh, Romano family tree. I was like, oh my god, there's even a family tree for these. Well, for them, anyway. Oh, I can't believe they changed her cat girl outfit, though. <sighs> Disappointing, guys. Oh, that's creepy. Alright. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> it's taken up a notch there. Queen cat girl, f a cat girl fan art. Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe we'll find some here. Yep. There you go, look. Mm hmm. Solo and Zandra, yeah. Should actually. What's yours, Papa Louis Waifu? That's a dangerous question, Wally. There it is. <laughs> First response. Good work. So known as twin sisters Andrew are raised by the Zeppers to be royal guardians of the warp coins. Oh, of course, yes. However, that all changed on one fateful night when a crystal-like asteroid with a faint pink tail Thank goodness they told us about that. It was observed hurtling through space. It was on a collision course with the Kingdom of X. It's not key, is it? I'm being Kingdom Hearts too much, and now I'm just seeing that as key. Kingdom of Key. Kingdom... It's just Kingdom Hearts, fuck's sake. The core realm of the entire flipverse. The Zeppers quickly patched together an escape balloon. I don't know if it's Zer or Zeppa, but it's probably Zer. And sent the twins off to the safest realm they could find. The stone pierced the sky and shattered the Kingdom of X, scattering all the sacred warp coins. <sighs> Hates waking up early. <laughs> He's a husbando. Okay, well, waifu, waifus or husband, husbando. How do you say that? That that thing. All right, let's look at the trivia for this. Uh, yeah, that's boring trivia. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's not much else. Have a look at Zandra as well. Edna. Yeah, I saw that actually recently. Edna is the adoptive mother for them. And there's Zandra. Following tradition, Zandra and Zola's royal coronation would have happened at age 10 when they would have received the royal X wands. Blimey. They just stuck this in here. It's like, hey, by the way, these two exist. Here's a fucking load of nonsense. Prism Express. Zandra has lower gravity? Wow. Oh, she's got the largest order in Hot Doggeria. At least the original one. Uh. Your waifu is Akari. Hmm. That makes sense. Oh, there she is. Look. Let's have a look. She's pretty core cool character. Loves bananas. Hates red lights. Occupation courier.
Bloody hell. Oh, Japanese Sun for Light. Oh yeah, Banana Zuka. Hmm. Prudence. Any Sarge fan fans in the chat? <laughs> I still haven't seen him because I haven't gone far enough in any of them to see him. Uh, Sarge fan. Serge D. Faniel. It's funny how the name was already there. It's like some superhero name nonsense where it's like, yeah. Yeah, this guy who turns into Mr. Freeze was originally Victor Freeze. <laughs> Poison Ivy was Pamela Isley. <laughs> oh, okay. Harleen Quinzel became Harley Quinn. Well, to be fair, that's just riffing off her name, but just happened to meet the Joker. Mischievous customer is absolutely obsessed with Sarge and can always be found parading out. It's literally just... A fanboy, right? With the help of Quinn, he had his name legally changed to Sarge D. Fan. Oh, and he petitioned as well. Ugh. Wally's Mitch's grandpa. Yeah, I saw that as well when I was looking on the... Have a look at the um, relationships article in a second. But Rita and Taylor are my favourites. Prudence. It's a couple of Prudence fans. Have a look at her in a second. Yeah, profit is profit, you know. <laughs> uh, uses berries as an alternative if he doesn't have his onions. Uh, he and Bradlin have similarities. Oh, you don't say. Alright, let's have a look at Prudence. I don't know much about Prudence, actually. She's been there right from the start, but... Uh, she hates a mess, so I guess that's the whole thing with Mitch making a mess. She shouts at him for it. Loves pickles, okay. She's got a little dog. Matt Paffy looked into the into the Papa games. What? I scrolled down a bit too far. Here it is. Ah. Uh. Uh, is there anything interesting here? It's very, very, very. Tid, tiny tidbits of trivia, actually. Uh, yeah, there's not really anything interesting in that. Matt Pat, if you looked into the Papa games. <laughs> uh, move aside, Matt Pat. We're going to go into this. You're stepping down anyway. Can you get out of here? Okay. Oh, we got to have a look at our man Wally. Oh, of course, yep, the anchovy hat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Surely there's going to be a decent amount of trivia about Wally, right? He's... How many times has he been in Next Chefs? And he still hasn't won it? Oh, poor Wally, man. He just can't win. <laughs> he keeps trying to be a, a chef. He's going to die before he gets a chance. He's going to be canonically killed off. 
third place, second place, fourth place, second place, fourth place, third place, third place. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's for the best. Maybe we don't want him too stressed out. The silver scale. That wasn't that much actually, but first Papa Louis character to have a flip deck. <gasps> Special. The rest of that's not really interesting though. Is there anything other details about him here? Uh, occupation retired. Hates computers. Quietly lives in an apartment above Papa's Pizzeria. If he could, he would order a double anchovy burger in Papa's Burgeria. Well, there we go. Maybe we do need to update it so we can make Wally happy. That's quite old because it's saying you have to stick to pizzas. Don't worry, you've got 17 different things you can get now. Wally fan art. Okay. Mom is doing Papa's Bakery at RL. Nice. Uh, Wally. F oh my god. That one just hit me like a fucking. <laughs> Spooder Wally. Okay. Uh, what? Ah, that's a mix of people, isn't it? Oh, baby Wally. Goomba Wally. Minecraft skin, Wally. He looks a little devious in that one. Two thousand sixteen April Fool's prank on this article. Oh really? Uh There's a lot of poof references, of course. How do I? Is there any way I could find that like straight up somewhere? April Fools. Oh, there was the chiller ear thing. I remember seeing that, but with Robbie. Oh my god. There's too many of them. Master Skywalker, there's too many of them. What are we going to do? Uh, holiday pictures. On the Wally page, right? Go back to that. Oh, of course he's a bouncer. I shouldn't be making fun of his name so much. He's going to beat me up. Loves pies, hates leg day. Oh, come on, whiff. Mindy's his girlfriend, okay. She is responsible for Whiff's rather unique hairdo. Yeah, to be fair, I've never actually... Actually, I have watched one... How do you say his name? Poofy Shaw? I don't know, but I've never... I've only... I've watched one of his videos. It wasn't a Papa's video. It was, um... Wii Sports, um... Wii Sports Resort sword play showdown video where he's screaming at it. I mean, I imagine that's generally his thing, right? Screaming at the games, but oh, that's a bit unfair. But <laughs> it's on Holiday Pictures article. Holiday Pictures. Holiday. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So, yeah, there's. Rowdy Rico win Chile attacks. <laughs> um, 2016. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now I, I see why you wanted, <laughs> wanted to look at this. That's, I should put that on the thumbnail at some point. <laughs> Just have this on the, on the thumbnail. Trigger warning, honestly, for this. Jeez. <laughs> Halloween special. 
Take it away. <laughs> what other uh, what other ones did they do? April Fool's Day. Oh man. Imagine that. When's Papa Louie getting on hot ones? What else do they do for April Fools? Uh, ah, of course, a real Taco Mia. Guy's Last Chef. Oh, oh yes, the name's Guy. Okay. Robots. Remnants of Skystone. Crags of Eastervale. This is, must be a deep cut. The Papa's Pizzeria Super Show coming to Now Toon Network this fall. Oh my god, look at the that art style. Papa's freaking me out in this one, I gotta say. Not as bad as the realistic Wally, but Oh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, find a new thing here. What's a good chill thing? Oh, yeah, this was a good one. That'll do. Don't know if it's actually playing. Oh, it's not. Come on! Azure Mist. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. There'd be a lot of characters you could play with, that's for sure. Like, watch, you know, a lot of characters to make stories out of. Uh, what do we have on this one? Drone delivery, of course, yes. <laughs> uh, Chilleria to go, uh-huh. Poor Rico, he's had two April Fools about him now. Ambitious project, didn't get a lot of invested people back on developing many different types of games. Oh, okay. Papa Louis Powell's lifestyle. Grow your pa Oh, this is why we have this this business. Okay. In this new update, your pals have started seedlings. Water, harvest, and watch them grow. Each pal has three months life cycle. Can you keep them alive? Shame this wasn't a thing, so I could have tied this into my um, Itch.io games video where I Played the Plant Daddy game. We could have had Papa Daddy, which is just saying the same thing twice, weirdly enough, but... Papa Daddy. Daddy Louie. Hmm. Can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine this? I hate to think what the... what people would do to these poor characters. Scold, yeah, yeah, just scold them all day. That'd be that would be that'd be a good video actually. Just get Voxen in there and scold him all the time. I've done nothing wrong. Uh, what do we have on this one? Oh, look, they're mashing their faces together. What was the April Fools for this one? Your golden opportunity to seize a genuine piece. Oh, it's it's NFTs. Okay. Uh, I guess an easy thing to go for, isn't it? But honestly, I think Papa Louis NFTs make look would be. I mean, they would look better than the ones that actually existed, the bored ape ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this, Nuberto NFT. Nudance NFT. <laughs> yeah. And we haven't gotten to the April Fools yet, but it's not far away, is it? I would see the show really to be more like a slice of life about the customers. Yeah. Do they canonically look like Goomba? <laughs> uh, they're born with the shoes and everything. I don't want to think about a Papa Louie character 
you know, nude. That's just not, not what you want to think about. Oh god, I've seen some of the, I've read some of these comments before, but some of them are so brain dead. <laughs> some of these comments, I look, I look at them and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Wikipedia comments maybe aren't the best. As Baby Zola and Zandra. Uh, icons. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah. Speaking with words and not pictures and materialising into the real world. Yeah, to be fair, it's only just when I've been in an article and I've looked down and the comments have been there, but... I'm not, uh, not too worried, but... Why, well, actually, I need to look at, um... Pirate Bash, because I want to make sure if I play a game more... I want to make sure I play a game that has this. Uh, Cupcake Area, Pancake Area to go. Uh, I'm probably playing HD for that. Cheese Area to go. This is the probably the one then. I want to make sure I do have a Pirate Bash video. Because pirates. you got to love pirates. And you can get tentacle toppings. Look at this. Who Would you want to eat this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> A little disturbing. <laughs> oh, the new game's gonna have it. Oh yeah, because it's like seaside, isn't it? Yes. I think they are gummies. I assume they're gummies. I just don't know about <sighs> the experience of eating a tentacle, like gummy, even wobbly. I don't want any tentacles near me. Yeah. It's not the taste that I'm worried about, it's the texture <laughs> and shape. Look at it, look at it just on top of the pancake. That's not nice. Come on. This is some strange blue stuff as well. I know people eat like, octopus, calamari and stuff, yeah, but like... I don't know, that one's just worse. That doesn't look good either. And then some of these holiday ingredients are pretty fudging weird <laughs> what is international talk like a pirate day my order is anchor cookie blueberry wave drizzle cannibal gum jolly roger gummy kraken equals pirate treasure cut cakes <laughs> great you really answered his question <laughs> okay Oh yeah, since we looked at this, we should look at Robbie. He's probably linked in there, but... Uh... Oh, get out of here. Robbie once lived in the apartments of her papa's pizzeria. Having spent all his rent money on pizzas, Robbie desperately needed a job. He soon found an opening as the deck handled for a small shrimp boat for the summer. The voyage went awry when a rogue wave capsized the boat and sent him drifting to an uncharted island. After three lonely years, he was spotted and rescued by, oh, let's say Mo. No, by Captain Corey. Of course, that makes sense. Googling what national day is today. Like every day is a bunch of stuff. Oh, I bet. Yeah, Captain Corey, that makes sense as well. National Ice Cream Sandwich Day, yeah. Ow. Hmm. Robinson Crusoe, oh, of course, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, 
He's the first and only customer to be absent from more than one game since his debut, Burgeria and Pancakeria. My goodness. Oh, my shoulder's been playing up for the past week. Wow, it was my back and neck. Oh, shoulders, neck, upper back. Now it's just my right shoulder, my arm is all... Ah, achy. Should we have a look at today's national day? National day today. Uh, rare disease day. Oh, please. This website's not gonna be sus, is it? Finishes medal day. National soup it forward day. National mulled wine day. National cold cuts day. Oh, what nation is this? Uh, National I Want You To Be Happy Day. National I Want You To Be Happy Day. Sounds like a vibes thing. National Anthem Day. That's every day, come on. What about tomorrow? Yay, Rare Disease Day. I assume it's a charity thing, but... National Sons Day, okay. Marching Music Day. Grammar Day. National Hug a GI Day. I would prefer not to. Uh, mostly made up. <laughs> yeah, stuff like this is all just... I don't know how it gets decided. Fucking National Pound Cake Day! Yes! Finally. I hope you feel better, thanks. Oh, I can't wait for a National... I'm so excited for tomorrow! National Pound Cake Day. Oh, you get all the stuff. Red Cross Month. Okay, that's fair enough. National Lawnmower Maintenance Week. Guys, I hope you're ready. Oh, it's already on. It's this... Like, we're in it. March 1st to 7th. You need to maintain your lawnmowers, guys. Get, get on that, please. National Play Outside Day. No! National Pitta Day. National Memory Day. Oh, it's Memory Day! Something gonna happen on March 21st? Everyone's gonna remember some, like, past life or something? National Slam the Scam Day! National I Am Day. It's a lot of charity stuff. National Skunkist Citrus Day, of course. <laughs> what is it? We've gotten so distracted. Only 36... I want to say we, I mean me. 36 days until the anniversary of Margaret Thatcher's death. Oh, i got to make sure I stick in another Maggie Thatcher joke in a video. As soon as we see Maggie, then. March 3rd, National Pets Had a Thumb Day, World Wildlife Day, 30, 33 Flavors Day, National Canadian Bacon Day, World Herring slash World War Day. Oh. What the fuck is all this? What's year at a glance? I'm getting, I'm, I'm invested in this now. Oh, is this just... Oh, you can just see what's... April is the fourth month of the year and consists of... It's not April. March. March presents an opportunity for us to highlight our gr growing list of the National Day calendar founder family. Ah, March. In like a lion, out like a lamb, or so the saying goes. What? That's not the only saying attributed to the moody month. Oh. For the Northern Hemisphere, March ushers in spring. That was even true back in the days of the Julian calendar when there were only 10 months and March started off the year. Saying such as a bushel of March... I'm going to guess March is a fucking boring month. What's the best, uh, see what's the best um, season, guys? You know, summer, spring, winter, autumn. National Day Day Day. National Day 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 Day. National Today, yeah, I'll have a look at that. Autumn Objectively. <laughs> oh, we got a winter, we got a spring. Alright, little slice. Uh, National 
National today. This might be better. Uh, here. <sighs> Where's legitimate interest again? Oh, fucking hell, whatever. Uh, oh, National Absinthe Day. On the 5th. Pets had thumbs day. Well, I, I don't want to think about this. World Wildlife Day, that's more of a thing. Oh, Hugger GI Day's back. Chocolate chip cookie week! <laughs> it's like Papa's holidays get even more intense. So like, you know, having a, a different holiday every week, it's not enough. We need every single day you play the Papa's game, like every day in the game, it has to have something special in it. Like here's a, we'll theme it after grammar. Here's a grammar topping. Winter sucks in places that have snow. Yes, that's why it's not my favourite. I really like December and Christmas, but January and February are fucking lame. Obviously, I'm talking about Northern Hemisphere winter, but... So, I can't, it can't be winter. Spring? Spring's pretty rainy here and boring, so I don't care about spring. So it's either summer or autumn. I just like the second half of the year, basically. I'd probably go with summer because I like the sun. I like warm, warmth, warmness. Grandma's pills on the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Dental assistant week. Oh, we gotta have that. We have dentistry. Papa's. <laughs> uh, Papa's dentistry. Papa's um dentist. Yeah, just Papa's dentist, I guess. There's an April Fools they can do. Din 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 and then just eh, from the drill. The drill station. <laughs> the reception station. Oh god. This customer needs their tooth their tooth pulled out because they ate too much of Papa's freezer ear. My skin hates the sun and light, and I hate warmth and winter all the way. Oh, I'm the opposite. I like summer, sun, warmth. Although I don't like how hot and sticky it gets at night. That's a bit of a, you know, everything has its downside. Um, autumn's quite a nice sort of balance. We usually get quite a nice September in the UK, at least where I am in the UK. In fact, I'd say September is nicer than like June, uh, weather-wise. June's actually, well, it's July and August get rainy, but they're pretty warm. But September can be quite nice. And then October's like sort of a nice sort of temperature. It's starting to get colder in November, but it's nice vibes, you know. Nice vibes. National Dentist Day. Oh, no. Papa's Plague Area. <laughs> Uh, what? What the fuck is all that? March holidays. Come on. What's going on? What? Jeez, please. Can you just let me... Oh, there's so much every day because there's so many countries in the world. Would you believe it? Oh, so this is all the month. This is what's going on this month. What in the name of... Okay, <laughs> this is just March 1st here. Baby sleep day. Oh yeah, your babies might sleep. Uh, well, it was two days ago, but... I hope your babies had a good sleep day. They're not going to sleep the rest of the year now. Denim day for dementia. Okay, charity. Uh, yep, awareness. Okay. International Ideas Month. Huh, hmm, yes, let's have some ideas this month, guys. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What? National Dagam, that's good, day. What? So this is all about... Just sorry, I just read that's dad gum. National dad gum. That's good day. But it's dad gum. Delicious meals and connecting with family from the southern U.S. is more than just a phrase. It's a mantra to connect through delicious meals and stories. That's a lot of text for such a weird little thing. Papa's cannibalia. Uh huh. The slaughter station. 
Oh, Jim Allen would have to come back for that. Oh, actually, yeah, I saw something about that. It's some, like, fan game, I guess. Someone wants some very nice here in Sweden, though, just like Britain, it just rains all the time when it's spring. Yeah, springs, I, I, I don't care for spring. Not that I'm like, <laughs> I don't think spring is going to be offended, but it's just there's nothing really interesting in it. Uh, I mean, flowers, I guess. National Day of Unplugging. Right, come on, this is past. Come on, we're way beyond this, guys. Where's the fucking March the 3rd? Are we on March the 3rd now? Yes. 33 Flavors Day. That sounds very Papa-ish. Uh, Canadian Bacon Day. Uh-huh. Clean Up Australia Day. No! Uh... Anyway, I've, I, I keep seeing this Australian spoon recently. I don't, maybe Australia does need a cleanse. Oh, so thick. What was it? Mmm, so thick. <laughs> Smooth. Oh, and creamy. The fuck is that spoon, man? Global Omega-3 Day. Uh, ear Care Day. Irish Whiskey Day. I'm trying to... F Where's a day that I can get invested in? When is internet? When is when is National Rum Day? <sighs> August sixteenth. All right, I'm gonna have to get ready for that. Now we know. Peasant Day. <laughs> you little peasants. Here's a day for you. There you go. That's all you're getting, though. Now go work. Banana Cream Pie Day. Sorry, banana cream pie day. Janana has a fucking wild day on that one, let me tell you. Oh, sea week. Namesake day. Well, surprisingly, there are other people on the internet called Novion. Strange as that seems, it's not even a unique name. Ugh, nothing. You can't have anything, man. I have to eliminate these other Novions. Ragdoll Achievement 2. Uh, I do recognize the name of that. Uh, that was, what was that one called? You could like ragdoll something and then you had to rack up points by hurting it. I can't remember what it was. Oh, Drop Dead. Was it Drop Dead? Yeah, I remember a game called Drop Dead. I remember playing those. Nas this one, National I Want You To Be Happy Day. I Demand You Be Happy Day. Ned Flanders fucking stuff going on there. National Jackson, as it's just people named Jackson, I guess. Uh, Rita as well. Hey, Rita. Rita, where are you? Rita. No, not Reuter. No. Re yes, Rita. I'm rushing. It's your day, Rita. It's your day. She loves garlic. She hates subtitles. Oh, oh sorry, Rita. <laughs> Don't watch my videos. I'll turn them off at least. She works tirelessly all day behind the counter with her co-worker and friend, Marty. With her trusty Flipper 5000... Reuter <laughs> can crowd the most delicious burgers around time. She likes movies. Yeah, okay. It's the re today. That makes sense. All right, there you go, Rita. Um, simplify your life day. Mhm. Mm talking third person day. a blah blah always does that. I mean, a blah blah didn't talk in third person, but now I've kind of turned it into his thing. So yeah, now a blah blah talks in third person. Just thought it would add to the alien nature a little bit. Reuter, my beloved. Celebrate your name week. Yes, well... <sighs> Novion. Yay, ce celebrate. We're looking at 
how many we're looking at the national days of today March the 3rd there's so many interesting things like uh well these are weeks but national soup it forward day and uh mold wine day <laughs> Everybody celebrate your name. Uh read an ebook week. No. No more week. Oh no. <laughs> I assume that's something important. Better not make fun of that one. Women in construction week. Ha ha ha. what an idea. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice try, girls. That's a joke, by the way. Teen Tech Week. Words matter week. No, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna be an asshole. It's National Asshole Day. Da -da -da -da. Don't get a wrong idea about that though. What about tomorrow though? Hmm? Global Day of the Engineer. Vibes, vibes. Your day's tomorrow. Why are we doing this again? Why does anyone do anything? Oh, because I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play games on stream, so uh, this is the shit. <laughs> Whenever I stream, I'm going to just do some random shit, probably. Uh, stuff that I would never make a video out of, you know. We pirate bash too hard. Yeah, basically, it was a big tangent. It's, look, International GM for, um, uh, what's it called? D&D. &D. Oh, there's the pound cake, yeah. Oh, this thing ran out. Uh, I don't know, man. Any of this music good? Skyrim! Yay! I'll always defend uh, motorcons, actually, because... Maybe it's the millennial in me, but... Text is like um, text speak. It's quite hard sometimes to understand the uh, what's the word like intonation or whatever. So uh, emojis and stuff really help out with that. But, um, hey, if you're named Ray, then we got good news. Or Quinton. Good news coming up. Good news for you. British Pie Week, yeah. British Pie Week. Oh, we have to play Baker Ear again. Oh, but that's not... It's not got savoury pies. Pies have been in existence since around 2000 BC. No one in the world loves pies as much as the British. Okay, there. I don't like I You know, I don't really like pies very much. Much pref I like apple pie and stuff like that, but savory pies? Nah. Got to hand in my British card. They're responsible for the invention of most of the pies. I see a Tanya, by the way. Uh, that we know and love today. Are you British? Yeah. What gave it away? Uh, an ancient Romans, sometime before 2000 BC. Of course it was ancient Romans. And they brought it here. Medieval England had an early form of sweet pies, but they were called tarts. Yes, that's true. Tarts is, I guess, kind of a different thing, but... Look, you can see the whole thing. Chicken pie recipe is written down. Tuesday, yeah. British Pie Week becomes a celebration. Well, that's fascinating. Fas excellent stuff. Thank you. Should we go back on the flip line wiki now? <laughs> Should get back to the point. Japanese, Italian, yeah. From Antarctica. Yes, I'm an I'm Antarctic born, I'll have you know. That's why I like warmth so much. 
things and just early years of my life in Antarctica were harsh you know waddling around huddling up with all the others which is terrible for an introvert when you got a huddle and a big thing then I gotta look after an egg uh wait what oh yeah Matt, Matt and Tony the uh, devs of course yes There's Matt Neff. What does he like? Dr. Cherry. Uh-huh. And he hates ranch dressing. Okay. Ohio? But that meme place. I didn't know that actually existed. <laughs> Let's look at the trivia for Matt. Matt's favorite customer is Wally, of course. He has good taste. His top five favorite games are Super Metroid, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Paper Mario, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I have played none of those games. What's your favorite game, guys? Hmm? He's worked at a pizza in high school and college. Good. Knows his stuff. He's left-handed. Devil! The background used for his flip deck is the same as Kingsley's. Until Papa's freeze a rear. He did not have any eyebrows. That's actually IRL. That's not his in-game character. That's just he didn't have eyebrows. And then he suddenly grew them. Have we got any Matt Neff fan art? Oh. What the hell's going on here? Okay. Hmm. My favorite game is Google Chrome. All oh, same. You look like John Price. Who? Are you saying Matt looks like John Price? Or me? Also, who's John Price? Sushi is a favorite Papa's game. Roblox. Candy Crush. Spore? Oh, interesting. A wild Spore fan. Oh, why is all this bullshit, man? Fucking hell. I don't care about Helldivers 2. <laughs> Let's have a look at Tony. Oh, uh, I'll just say actually, it would have been there, but. Tony! Tony Solari. Oh! Wow! Long haired Tony. He loves Hyper Green. He hates giving speeches. He's got four kids. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. All the orders. Oh, I went too far. First customer to order a rare patty. His favorite customer is Little Eduardo. His favorite non-gamer is Cactus McCoy. His favorite games are Super Mario Bros. 3, Pikmin, Yoshi's Island, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash. Oh, big Nintendo fans, aren't they? Uh, Mandy's the developer's wife, yeah. Yeah, I saw that as well. Oh. oh, we got Tony Solari fan art as well. Man from Call of Duty. John Price. Hit. 
I've never heard of this guy, but okay. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have. I don't know much about Call of Duty, but... What the fu- Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? The stream's current bitrate, 18,000 kilobits is higher than the recommended. I didn't set it to 18,000 kilobits. I set it to, like, 7,000 or 8,000. What do you mean it's on 18,000? What? YouTube, please, that's not... A <laughs> what the fuck? Surely YouTube's just getting a bit confused. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, that was my fault. Has it been laggy the whole time? I didn't realise it was messed up. Is it better now? Well, at this first time doing a YouTube stream, well, I did do YouTube stream on my other channel actually, like a month ago. Um, but that was kind of all set up already. So, first time, I'm not surprised there was a technical difficulty. Am I still... am I dead? Am I still dead? Yeah, I mean, luckily I wasn't playing a game. Oh, if I was, I guess it would have been very obvious. <laughs> oh my god. The fucking bitrate was meant to be on 8,000. It was on 80,000. <laughs> no wonder it was fucked up. Thing is, when I... I'm used to streaming on Twitch as well, obviously. That's why I spent... Asia's doing and you just can't go above 6,000 anyway but on YouTube you can go over that cap it's a fucking 80,000 bit right oh my god right it should be fine now oh god that's really annoying oh well luckily we didn't do anything particularly important although it did show the thumbnail thing but oh god Thing is though, I had that setting for the um, the test stream I did earlier today, and it, that setting would have been the same, I think. I didn't really notice it like lagging out or anything when I looked back at it, but I don't know. Anyway, look, it's Matt <laughs> or Tony. You yeah, know, it's Tony. Tony. It's Tony. Look, Sims Tony. <laughs> Yeah, that's about as much as you can do in The Sims 3. What are people saying about Tony? I wish we knew what he and Matt looked like in real life. There are several photos of Tony online. I really like him. I really like him. <laughs> Poor Tony. Fucking hell, Tony's making people question themselves. What the hell's going on here? I really adore Tony's Halloween costume. I don't know why, it's just... Am I gay? I think I am. <laughs> Someone's just, like, found themselves through Tony. I really like him. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? Content gold in the comments here. Besides, I like the animation. <laughs> Uh. 
That kind of face reveal of Tony is just unbelievable. Yet I still don't know if it's real. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there you go. It's Halloween. What is the? I need to have a look at the Halloween costume. I saw the fan arts there, but let's look at the actual. Oh shit! Wow. Let's have a look at it, uh, actually separate. Holy article. Damn, that is pretty... That, that just confuses me more though, why someone saw that and thought, Huh, I think I'm gay. <laughs> but, but this... <laughs> I think, it, is there another word for being attracted to fucking demonic moth spooky things? <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the um, relationships one. Furry, <laughs> real, real families, friendships, and romances. Yeah, here we go. Like obviously, Papa Louis, the uncle of Roy and Joy, Ember and Yippy, aunt and niece. Mikaela and Okalani, I haven't even seen them yet. Aunt and niece. Wally and Mitch, grandfather, grandson. Professor Fitz and Iggy, grandfather, grandson. That makes sense. Uh, Evelyn and Olivia, grandmother, granddaughter. Vicky and Mindy, mother and daughter. Mr. Bomboloni and Wile and B. Will and B, I don't know. Father and son. Espen and Yuko Prudence. Husband and wife, daughter. Interesting. Franco and Fernanda, Lisa, husband and wife, daughter. Vincent and Claire, Sasha, husband, wife, daughter. All right. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Tony and Mandy, obviously. From IRL. Uh, Edna, yep, foster mother. Cooper and Greg are brothers. Bonnie and Yolanda are sisters. Nevada and Utah are sisters, obviously. Joy and Roy are siblings. Marty and Clover, Moose and Whipper, Caleb and Trishna. Don't even know who they are. And here's the Romano family tree. I'm a furry, I swear I'm not that weird. <laughs> well, it's all a big, there's a big scale, isn't there? I mean, people use furry as a catch-all thing, but there's a difference between someone who likes anthropomorphic characters and then someone who uh, wants to fuck a demon moth. <laughs> uh, I think half of my f fan base on my other channel are furries anyway, so you know. That makes my other channel sound weird, the Kingdom Hearts channel, I mean. Uh, there's some dead characters, man. Oh, I can't even see what they looked like. Cornelius Powder. He used to own the land of what's now known as Powder Point. See, now we're getting the law. He sold the land to a wealthy entrepreneur, turned it into an amusement park. See? See? His. Okay, well, there's not much about this one. Italian for huge or giant. Okay. He is now deceased. Trudy Blue. Yep, okay. Oh. So we don't actually know what this person looks like. Who is this, by the way? Duke Gotcha. Yeah, you can see a search history. What the fuck? Yeah, what is it? He loves a sharp suit, hates scams. Charismatic reports of a now time news. Okay. News anchor person guy, yeah. And he's, yeah, I mean, fair enough. I haven't met him yet, though, so. 
Jeez, the fucking adverts, man. And then we got friends here. Friends by association. Hugo Janana, co-workers. Tony Matt, co-workers. Rita Marty, Brody Skyler. Dida, Simone. Isadora, Enzo and Astra, schoolmates. Mitch and Nick. Chuck and Taylor, Trishna and Prudence. And then we have actual relationships here. Mary and Sue, because Mary Sue, okay. Uh, Mindy and Whiff, Penny Alberta, Rhonda and Rico, Scarlet Rudy, Liesel and Caleb. Maggie and Peggy. <laughs> don't, don't forget that one, guys. Totally canon. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of this. The Cluckeria chicken wars going on. Man, that's... That's something. Mary and Sue. Oh, I was like, did Sue turn into a dog? All oh, right, the dog's delivering the roses. Just thinking, uh, excuse me? It's getting a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> Be familiar with him in Mockery and Cluckery? Hmm. God, you can't, you can't even mention something without a fucking, like, view more replies. Oh boy! <laughs> Yeah, maybe a little dangerous comment section to be looking at. Calendar. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, jeez. So here we have what you see in each month for each game. Frostfield. Yeah. Okay. It depends on the version as well. Yeah, see, look, to go HD. Get a lot of, of course, New Year. I mean, New Year's probably there consistently, isn't it? Almost consistently. Oh, Lunar New Year on this one. Okay. It's a little different. Valentine's Day is there pretty consistently. Uh, oh, but we got Mardi Gras for a couple of them. Oh, and that one. Okay. Custom Palooza winner, Nye, which you haven't seen yet, the creator says he's gay. Oh, okay. Uh, St. Paddy's Day. But Lucky Lucky Matsuri, St. Paddy's Day, Lucky Lucky Matsuri. Holy is there, of course, for some of them. So it's between those three. Between those three for March. Of course, we found what the real holidays of March are. <laughs> uh, Easter, Romano Wedding, that's a one off. Easter, 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 Cherry Blossom. Easter, 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 Cherry Blossom. Big Top Carnival. Uh-huh. Onion Fest, Chili Fest. It looks like Spring uh, May. May kind of switches around quite a lot. Onion Fest, Chili Fest, Big Top. Cinco de Mayo, Cherry Blossom, Cinco de Mayo, Big Top. Yeah, Onion Fest. Sugarplex Film Fest, Chili Fest, Comic Con. Summer Loao is fucking always there except for Freezer Air, I think, because uh, Freezer Air already is summer themed, so yeah. Freezer Air Deluxe is Volcano Gala. Because yeah, it doesn't really make sense to have Summer Loao on a game where you're going to have those ingredients anyway. It's the same for uh, Taco Mia. Having, not having, um, Cinco de Mayo. Well, uh, we show more gay relationships. Well, that's where shipping comes in. <laughs> There's not many relationships overall anyway. I mean, it's not really something they focus on, so. Baseball season. 
Neptune's Feast. Okay, August is a bit all over the place. Sky Ninja, Portellini Feast, Big Top Carnival, Sugarplex Film Fest, Comic Con, Portellini Feast, Bavaria Fest, Bavaria Fest, Comic Con, Groove Stock. I need to make sure I play a game with Groove Stock because I might miss out otherwise. Hot Dog Area to go. Am I playing that or am I playing HD for that? HD, I think, for that. Uh, so I might miss out on that. Because it's uh, Comic Con on HD. Oh, there's another one here. What's that? Oh, Mockeria. Okay, that's fine then. We'll have Groove Stock on Mockeria. Um, Neptune's Feast. Pirate Bash. September. Gondola 500. Yeah. Maple Mornings. Maple Mornings. Maple Mornings is there quite a lot, obviously. Big top carnivals all over the place. Yeah, it's a very late holiday. I hmm. guess we'll have to see how things progress. Halloween, 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 Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Yep. Oh, and then suddenly Dia de los Muertos is here. Just... Just stuck in there for uh, cluckery. I guess I got a bit sick of Halloween, so fair enough. Uh, Thanksgiving is also very common. It's, in fact, this whole latter part of the year is pretty consistent. Sienna is always turning up. Yep, Thanksgiving's there every single time, and I think Christmas is the same. Yeah, Christmas. And I haven't seen Christmas on a game yet, because I haven't started at a late enough point. Mm. All right, so that's pretty good. It's a good idea. Yeah, as far as some um, videos for the games go, yeah, this initial plan was to play all the Flash games. I skipped Freezer Air because I I knew I was going to play Freezer Air Deluxe. In hindsight, I might have actually done Freezer Air Flash just to say I've done all the Flash, but now I don't want I don't want to do Freezer Air Flash right before Freezer Air Deluxe because that would just be like repeating the same thing, but worse the first time. Someone said though on the um the video I just did, Scooper Rare, someone said Freezer Air Deluxe doesn't let you be creative with the orders, so I should play Freezer Air Flash, but I don't really get what that means. Why can't I be creative with the orders on Freezer Air Deluxe? I mean there's the food truck as well, right? So surely I could do some nonsense with the food truck. Pizza HD is where Christmas is closest to the start of the game. Okay, that's good to know because I will be doing Pizza HD. So. Oh, but yeah, that was the original plan. And then after that, I was like, well, we got the mobile ones, the exclusive mobile games. We got Freezer Deluxe. Then we got the mobile versions of the older games that have all the new features, or some of the new features at least. Like Pizzeria HD. In Deluxe you can't stack ingredients to pile them to the top of the screen. You can do this in Flash. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Interesting. So what I might do then is... Rather than like do a video on Freezeria Flash and then just do Deluxe. I'll do Deluxe and then I'll insert a little segment. I'll play some of Freezeria Flash on my own. I'll do a like messing update and then I'll, I'll insert that into the video it's like a, like let's go back in time woo you know whatever bullshit I can excuse it with and then yeah I can just use the flash to do that thing right Pooh says there isn't really much creativity in deluxe really it's kind of a shame that was like the cool thing about like having it on the PC version is how silly it can get right Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do some kind of fudging, messing around with that a bit to get a more standard video out of it. Because the standard video for like the first playthrough of each game is meant to be... Um, play the thing. Yeah, witness the story, witness the, like, the first holiday if it has that coming in. Uh... 
and play around with the whole concept, then get to the day I want to mess up and then mess up. If I do like sequel videos, they're probably going to be a little different because I don't want to do like, oh, now I'm going to do another messing up day and it's kind of the same thing. I don't really know. As far as sequel videos goes, I don't know how that's going to work yet because obviously you can't make as many jokes as when you're first seeing something fresh. Not that a game has, to, not that a video has to be jokes constantly. You know, it can calm down a bit, but they would probably be a bit shorter. I doubt I could make like a 33 minute video just sort of doing more of the same. So I have to just try it and see what happens with those. But we still at least have four games for never played yet sort of thing. Well, I've played Freezer here, but not the deluxe one. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if you literally can't stack them as much, then literally you can't be as funny with it. The thing with Poof, though, is that he... He, like, messes up very quickly, doesn't he, I think? Whereas I like to try and play the game properly and then just do, like, that burst of messing up in one day. And then now I just sort of delete that day as well. I don't save it. From what I did see a little bit of one of his videos. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I saw Because I don't like to watch people do the same um, games that I'm doing at the time because I don't want to be influenced. But even subconsciously. But I did see a bit of him playing Pancake Arrear because we somehow uploaded a Pancake Arrear video on the exact same day as each other. Um, and he was like, he just started messing up immediately. I was like, fucking hell. He was already messing the pancakes up. Like from day one or something. I was like, okay. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I'm too, like, try-hardy, I guess. But watching the stream just remembered how depressed I was. Videos helped me get out of this. Oh, that's good to hear. No, that's okay. I've been there myself, so, you know. Gets bored easily, but he's been setting milestones for himself. Yeah. For me, it's just that I need to make, like, it helps when I can make a character and then RP them a little bit. Uh, because then I can just have some fun with that, right? Oh my god, look at all this. Hmm. Uh fucking out. Oh, stretch, big stretch. Alright, so let's have a look at that. That's good. And then... Is there anything else worth looking at? What's this? Why do we keep... I guess it's just recent. Oh yeah, recently uploaded. Oh my god, Go Animate. Oh, Go Animate, such a family guy looking ass art style. Uh, knackered. A bit. Well, also... I'm not, I'm sitting so upright, but I don't have my chair properly. There we go, that's a bit better. How obsessed would do you have to be to remember this? What, all the little trivias? Or, hello Philip, by the way. One of the YouTubers I watched helps with depression, I hope you know that. Well, that's one of my main goals, really, is just to, uh... I don't know, just to make videos that will just distract people from the horrors of life <laughs> for a little bit. You know, just uh, take people's minds off stuff, you know, and just give kind of um, silly, what do you call it, like, non-serious stuff for just to kind of cleanse your mind of all that, like, I'm sure we've all done it, or well, certainly I have, where it's just like doom scrolling. Whenever uh, I get tempted to look at Twitter again, I end up doom scrolling. I'm like, stop. I gotta stop. I gotta. I gotta stop myself looking at this website because it's just people. It's just all the terrible things that are going on. It's either terrible, important things, or it's like stupid people arguing about stupid things. I'm like, yeah, no, 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 no. 
That's why I like to make very uh, light-hearted uh, content, I guess. Light entertainment, you know? It ain't nothing thought-provoking, alright? There's certainly not going to be any like big questions asked or anything uh, that's going to win any awards, but I don't really care because it's not the point. Hyperfixated, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to look at here. Let's go back to the main page for a second. Very angry that Papa Louie doesn't have a cube. Well, like the cube, blo the blocks? What, what kind of cube? Like the cubes? Oh, my beloved cubes, man. I, I miss the cubes. And they, Because that's the thing with the holidays. Once they did the holidays, like everything in a shop for like objects to put on the lobby is all holiday themed for each holiday. So all those like generic things went away, like the cubes. I mean, maybe some of them you can get from... The mini games? I don't know, but I guess that's one of the effects of having the holidays. You can't have as many just sort of random objects. Do any of the, like the updated games have the cubes? Yeah, the cubes was like the um the tiles. I don't know if they'd have a article in here, but tiles or tile. Oh my god, this website, or well, fandom websites generally. No, not flooring. Furniture. Yeah, see this, back in this one, they didn't have the holidays, so they had themed after the restaurants. And we had, uh, maybe they didn't have it, did I skip past it? Maybe they didn't have it on this one. Yeah, which ones did they have it on? Like, um, Pancake Career? Did they have it? Oh, the website keeps, like, putting an advert and it pushes the page down when I try and click on something. Stop. Um, how do you see the... Oh, God. Uh, I don't know how I actually got to that other section that I was just on with, like, Pancake Career. What was it? What was it called? Papa's Hot Dog Career Lobby Items. Lobby Items. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Uh... Large, bo large burger. Ah, oh, the tiles, the cube. Oh, my cube! I have to start just editing it in. Look, there's a cube, guys. I swear. All hail the cube. The server would love the cube. She'd be like, yes. Come to the multi-grain cube, my friends. We shall sacrifice someone on the cube for Papa. Any non-believers will be sacrificed. Watch this guy Thurm in Papa's games. He has the unpredictability of proof, but the focus of you to buy and stream Papa's often. Hmm. Yeah, all of these channels have been like coming up on my well, one on recommendations and two on. YouTube Studio, you can look and it shows um, the Skyrim music's getting a bit ahead of itself here. 
ideas above it, above its station. Uh, it's like I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, it shows on YouTube Studio like oh channels with similar audiences to yours, and it's like okay, there's there's uh, Poof and Russellot and uh, Therm and some other people I forget. Yeah, at least the wallpaper has got the cube. <laughs> It's kind of funny seeing all these items now. Yeah, so those channels, uh, I know of them, obviously. I just try not to watch videos um, if it's the same as what I'm doing. If it's other games, it's fine, but I just don't like to watch videos when I'm also doing the same series because I don't want to be like, I want to go into it very fresh. Um, look at all the gums. Thanksgiving wallpaper. Yeah, I guess we have to just settle for that. <laughs> if we get Thanksgiving in a game. At least Thanksgiving's there all the bloody time. I think the thing with the Pappas games for me going forward is like... I was, I've was i been very much hyper-fixating them, on them, obviously. Um, I mean, ever since like last year, I've wanted to do like play through all of them it was just way more pop it ends up more popular than i expected uh, because i uploaded pizzeria and burgeria on my old not my other channel not novion kh not the kingdom hearts channel but the basically this channel this novion channel was originally a stream archive channel it was called novion archive all of my old streams are still there but they're unlisted um but I had another channel called Novion, which, well, Novion Plays, actually. And I uploaded Pizzeria and Burgeria on that channel. And they only got like a few hundred views. Um, you know, that's fine. But then I didn't do any more. And I did some other random videos on there. I did a Grounded video. It was it was way too random. Uh, I did the World of Goo video, of course, which had more views on that channel. Um, and... Oh, some other shit as well, like... Uh, Just Die already, which I almost re-uploaded on this channel, and then I decided not to, because I thought it was a bit too random. And I don't know, it was the same style as the World of Goo video, and I only kind of wanted World of Goo being the only one like that. Um, yeah, Skyrim stuff was on that channel. It was just, it was very all over the place. And I was getting a bit, like, frustrated with it, so I just deleted it. And then I switched over to this channel, the Archive channel, and I turned this into the main one. And then I decided to focus a lot more. Uh, obviously focused on Papa's. I did some other Flash game stuff. Varying success, you know, obviously, but... Uh, it's a dice roll. Whenever, whenever you make something that's not what you're known for, it's always a dice roll. So I don't really care if it gets, like, tons of views, because that's not important right now. What's important is just doing what I am uh, feel strongly about. Like, I can't just make Papa's videos because then I won't ever, like, <laughs> I can't have that be the entire channel. But I'm just trying to slowly add in other stuff, right? Like, the Sims series is quite fun, and I can bring my characters over to the Sims, which is nice. That's one thing that's... Any game where I can make my own character is, like, really good for me. Uh, that's, like, really helps out a lot. Any game where it's like um, a already existing character and they are talking in cutscenes and stuff, not so good because you're kind of like a passive observer, right? You're just kind of watching a story unfold and you're just like the guy controlling the character. You can make content based on that, but I just don't think it's as good. Uh, so I definitely prefer games where I can take more direct control of things. I was in Portolini, well, the place. Should we have a little look? Hmm, yeah, Gondola 500. Neptune's Feast. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some uniqueness. 
But I gotta say, pa uh, Pastore is probably one of my least favorites I've played so far. I didn't really vibe, funny enough, with the gameplay of it as much. Um, I liked bouncing the pasta out of the thing. <laughs> I don't know, the top station, like the, the building station. Uh, it just, it didn't appeal to me as much. Yeah, like this. I don't know. I just didn't really... Uh, I didn't enjoy that as much as some of the other build stations. It's the same with Wing Array, actually. Funnily enough, since that's got my original like OC character, uh, Voxen. But Wing Array is like that as well. Wing Array is probably one of my least favorites. Oh, fucking hell. Because it's... um, Like, the build... The building is just sort of aligning stuff, you know? I think this is maybe the least interesting build station of all the games. Well, except for, I don't know about the ones I haven't played yet, but... Because look, I mean, all you're doing is kind of just lining things up, right? <laughs> like, you're just symmetry. You're not, like, uh, stacking stuff, you're not... You can't make little design. Well, you kind of make designs, but... I think of all the games, this is the one I would get bored of the quickest, I feel like. Also, it's wings. One of, like, one of the foods from these games that I care about the least, wings. Like, I really don't care for wings very much, or... I mean, chicken strips and stuff is nice, I guess, but... It might be my least favourite one. Pastor is actually your favorite of the games. I definitely like it. I mean, I'd be more willing to play Pastor than this one, that's for sure. Uh, like, more of it. I mean, Burger is also not really I'm that fond of because it's so simple and there's not much to it. Well, that's the thing about HD and um, to go Burger by the way. I, I haven't decided. I want to do at least like one video just showing the slightly updated version. Um, but. Okay, so that's not much, but that's two dollars more than to go uh, for HD, and it has two less ingredients because to go has to go has egg and Zoom call. What to go has? Uh... Oh, ad. Yeah, there's fucking tons of ads on here. To go has an egg and it has um, jalapenos, I think, and HD doesn't have those two, but. HD does have um, HD has the proper station, you know, drag it, put it on kind of thing. Whereas to go, obviously, because of uh, mobile screens, it has less uh, patty spaces as well on to go. But to go has this business, right? the industrial containers uh, the other to go games have because you just like you scroll it along because there's not space that's obviously not that's not as nice to look at as the burger here like the toppings are all there for you to place that's why where possible i want to stick to flash and hd if i do sequels but obviously some of them are so primitive um <laughs> i like that <laughs> just like someone's sad little slumped cheese have you ever thought of trying Minecraft videos? Yes. Um, back in the day, I streamed a bit of Minecraft, and a couple of times I tried making videos. Not on that Novion Plays, but on my Kingdom Hearts channel, back when I, I didn't know what I was doing with it, and I kept flipping back and forth and doing all kinds of stuff. I did do some Minecraft. I was calling them relaxed playthroughs at the time, which were, like, edited but quite simply edited. And there was all like kind of chill. It wasn't ASMR, but it was like calm and stuff. Um, but I always get very quickly bored of Minecraft. Um, and I just, there's so many Minecraft videos on YouTube, right? It's so saturated. And all it's such a big thing that all the people who are making Minecraft videos are really good at it. And... 
they've got all the attention of like Minecraft fans. I'm like, what could I really bring to the table? You know, <sighs> it's kind of like a. Actually, no, I did have a Minecraft video on my Plays channel, and it was actually, it actually got some views as well, and got some subscribers, and then I didn't do any more. Well, I did one more, but. Like, people were like, I can see you making it big one day, this is really good and stuff. And I'm like, in the bin! Because <laughs> I wasn't happy with it. I don't know, I just, I thought, eh. The thing about Minecraft is there's no, like, characters to talk to, there's no NPCs to mess with. I mean, there's, there's NPCs, but, you know, they're not characters, they're just villagers and stuff. I mean, yeah, there's mods, but even mods can only do so much. It's, it feels a bit too open-ended for me, like, I don't know what to do. I want to watch your streams here, but in five hours I have to get up. Yeah, to be fair, I don't know how much longer I can go here, but... To go is also graphically really limited. That's the other thing. Like, it's an old to-go game, and they needed the HD version for tablets, so, like, how it would look... Obviously, the old Flash games look pretty primitive as well, but... I, I think HD would be the better call for me if I'm going to do a Burgeria video. For an app, uh, an app burger video. But two more dollars. Oh no! <laughs> Tragedy. Yeah. Okay. We don't get an egg, and we don't get a jalapenos. But I don't think that's the end of the world, is it? Funny enough, actually, on the app store, it's just called. Papa's Burgeria, because it's the very first one they didn't... It says HD, but the name on that shows up on the store is just Papa's Burgeria. Harder to control, yeah, that's the thing. Like, those HD ones are better, or usually better for me, uh, except for this one, because this is too old. So that's better. But it's Wingeria, so I don't care that much anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah, as far as games, like, I'd be happy to, like, I'm not going to get to rank 60 on every Papa's game. That's obviously not going to fucking happen. But. What I miss, we were talking a little bit about uh, different versions of them and talking about Burgery a little bit. And Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, just that as well. I think this... Oh no, it's not run out yet. Yeah, I find it very eerie. It's so scary, especially with the cave update. That's the thing, like, people on that channel obviously liked the... Um, the Minecraft videos that I did, but I didn't really like them. Um, that's not to say I couldn't one day do something with it, but... Like, it would need to be the right mods. It would need to have something... I don't know, it's just, it's a tricky game for uh, content, because it's so big, it's so kind of overdone. I mean, obviously I do think about what other game series I'd like to make. I got this, I got The Sims, that's just starting. Uh, I got other things potentially in mind, but I'm not sure yet. And I don't want to just jump and to start doing everything, obviously. But I really do feel like the best course of action is to focus on like picking series and then doing series of videos that people can get invested in. Rather than like, here's this random game, and now here's a video on this random game, and now I'm playing this random game, and this and this. And everyone's just like confused because you don't know what's going to happen next. It's much better to, you know, you can't play every game under the sun. You can't make videos on every game. And a lot of games aren't good for videos anyway. So it's a lot better for me to just like be picky, but then get quite uh, invested into the ones that I like the most. Playing Minecraft on a beta server. Oh, that's going, that's a throwback. Using beta craft with my friends. Man, I remember old Minecraft vibes. I remember playing, um... Oldest that I remember playing is 
because uh, I used to play a fair bit of Hexit. And I remember the Hexit mod pack. Uh, that was a classic, man. Making a house in a giant redwood tree and riding a chocobo from Final Fantasy around. <laughs> It's a lot more, um, mod packs are a lot easier to manage and install and stuff these days. Oh. But yeah, as far as, like, yeah, games that I'm, like, most interested in for this is definitely Freezer Raid Deluxe. Uh, this one. Mmm, what other ones do I like? Uh, I like Cupcake Arena, but Flash might it might be better just sticking with Flash for that. And then I did like Pancake Arena, maybe one of those. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just have to kind of play it by ear and see which ones appeal to me the most, but. Taco Mir is interesting because there's a new station, so I definitely have to do one, a video on one of these at least. Because... If there's a picture somewhere... Yes. Sides. Right? Chips. We got chip station, so there's a whole new thing. Cause three stations obviously isn't very much, so they added another one. Uh, Burger Ray didn't get that treatment because it was the very first, but first to get a mobile version. But this is interesting. That's definitely something I've got to have a look at. Just binge down TDM mod presentations, Stampy Longhead series. I remember watching Minecraft content as well. Um, Pancakery, Pancakery HD is the closest to the beginning groove stock. Hmm, okay. Yeah, what did I watch back in the day? I watched, um, yeah, mod presentations by different people, probably. <laughs> The main, I was only ever subscribed actually to one Minecraft YouTuber. Can, can you guess who it was? Can you guess? Just happened to be the one that ended up having the most like uh, problematic stuff happen. Or at least at the time. Although I was too old by the time all that stuff came out. Uh, I'm talking about Sky does Minecraft here. Um, he was the one I watched the most when I was younger. Yeah. And then I grew out of it, and then my brother watched him. My brother watched more, because he watched other YouTubers as well, but he's three years younger than me, so... Yeah, and then later on I found out what the hell happened with Skyler's Minecraft. I'm like, fucking hell. Honestly, is this just a thing with Minecraft YouTubers? They just get into trouble all the time? I mean, it's another way, another reason for me to stay away from it, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't seem like the best of company. <laughs> Dream, you know, Wilbur. <laughs> All of this nonsense, popular MMOs. I I did watch some of his as well. It's like, am I unlucky, or is it just there was so many like, there's so much dirty laundry in the Minecraft community? I don't know. To me, I have good tasting games though, so I was next. I'll watch. Oh, my tasting games fucking varies to be honest, but. I'm either playing a Papa's game or I'm playing Doom. Especially old Doom. Or I'm playing uh Elden Ring or something, you know. <laughs> or I'm playing Halo. Halo multiplayer. So mad they didn't call it Takaria. I think if they released it these days, like if it was a more modern game rear, they would have just called it Takaria. But at the time, apparently they said they didn't want to confuse people. 
because people wouldn't realize it was about tacos, right? Which I guess that might have been the case. I mean, it was their third game in the series, so I guess they're a bit worried and they wanted to make sure people knew this was in it. But yeah. And then when it came to these versions, they just had to do it the same since branding. Oh yes, um, yeah, so, oh yeah, that's the thing I wanted to say about, um, I've got four more, like, blind gamer ear videos to do, the three mobile exclusives and freezer ear, and then, then it's like remakes and sequels and stuff, and like I said, the, the format might be a bit different for them, and, uh, you know, I do want to be doing other stuff as well because it's it's important that you don't entrench yourself too much for one thing because it'd be even harder to change later on. I know that all too well because this ain't my first rodeo, you know. I've got my other channel with its 15,000 subscribers and I tried to, I tried to uh, expand on that channel and I just couldn't do it. Although one of the main problems on that channel was... Uh, it wasn't known for gameplay videos, it was known mostly for like uh, analysis videos. And like discussions and stuff. And there was a few gameplay videos in there, but it was about Kingdom Hearts, so obviously it was still relevant. But like trying to, I could never change that into a gameplay channel, even though I much prefer gameplay stuff because I think it's just, why well, it's more fun. Games are meant to be played and not picked apart, so I like making gameplay stuff. It's more lighthearted, which I like. And I don't have to write scripts. And I don't I don't like writing scripts, so that's great. <laughs> but um Yeah. I, I also the older I get, the less I care about like sort of analyzing stuff and like discussing or going oh yes well here's my opinion on uh here's a video essay on my opinion on something and why i'm right so like, i don't give a fuck like i'd rather just have fun with something and sort of joke around mess around if i'm going to talk about opinions it would be in a much more casual sense not i'm going to make a video about it it was just really demoralizing for me so that's why i kind of switched and made a new channel basically but Otherwise, I would have left when you whipped out the national holidays. That's the thing, isn't it? No, we can't have the music stop. It's too creepy. Uh, Oblivion. Oh, that's a soundtrack. Ambience. There we go. I've never played Oblivion. I really need to play Oblivion one day. It's such a meme game. Yeah, I mean, like... You could look up national holidays and then be really boring about it and just be like, oh, yeah, cool. It's not just what you do, but how you do it. But it is also what you do. <laughs> and it's who you know, but that's a whole other thing. Stop! You violated the law! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I've not played it. I've played so how many hours of Skyrim and I haven't played Oblivion? It's terrible. It's just time investment. I haven't had the time to invest in like a massive game right now, you know. Oh, Elden Ring is DLC as well in June. I'm going to be uh, definitely playing that. I'm not making a video on it because yeah, I'm not going to be at the point in June where I can make an Elden Ring video. But Although one day I would love to do an Elden Ring playthrough like as... Like, Voxen or something, right? And then see what Voxen would have to say about not like all the time, not like the entire time I'm talking like this, but like slipping into him sometimes making him, I'm sure Elden Ring's character creator, you can, I can probably make a Voxen and uh, I'd love to do that and like Dark Souls 3 as the blah blah <laughs> something like that, you know, just I really like the idea of that yeah. Really, I like the way you curse. Sounds like a song. Uh, it's a bloody, bloody, uh, bloody bastard. Uh. 
Um, Clock career. Oh god, so many ingredients. Oh, Santa! I just saw Santa. See, we've got to get to Christmas in a game because look, I got to see Santa. Oh, green Santa. Hates lumps of coal. Well, why does he give them then? He's like, I, I hate to do this, but you've been bad this year. I, I'm so sorry. I really hate to do this. I, I know, I know. I, 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 I just got, I got to do it. You know, I've got no choice. Clucker in, freezer, a deluxe tie with this, with the amount of ingredients, yeah. During Christmas, this jolly old elf is extremely busy delivering presents to good girls and boys. However, Santa can't help stopping by his favourite restaurants to grab a quick bite to eat. His boundless appetite allows him to eat endless stacks of Christmas cookies whilst there is room for a festive cupcake and a heaping plate of pasta. It hurts him more than it hurts you, yeah, exactly. Watched Ludwig play Elden Ring as fast as he could and I liked it, but I was so confused. Oh, the Elden Ring speedrun? Like, glitch speedrun? Fucking insane, that one. Oh, that's his style A in Freezer A Deluxe. Original Santa or whatever. I think the myth is that Coca-Cola changed in red, but I'm not sure that's actually true, is it? <laughs> Outside of Christmas, he would have a non-holiday based order, even though he would not show up during those times. <laughs> Uh, that's fun. Yeah, it's just the thing with YouTubers, it's like, you can do other stuff, but it's good to have it, like, sort of tangentially related. Um, obviously. My original plan for this channel was to start with sort of exclusively playing Flash games and stuff, but... I find a lot of Flash games nice for nostalgia, but content-wise, they're not actually great. It really depends on... Uh, what it actually is like with any game really You can give him oh you can't so you can give Santa an invitation I thought they might restrict it, but you can actually give him one. That's cool Just show up at his house show up at the North Pole. Hey, fucking hey Santa Come on down the Speed run his death count was insane. Do you know why they make the game so difficult? Uh, I'm sure Miyazaki comment on it but it's like the thing is with souls and elden ring and stuff they're famous for difficulty but really the thing is they're just not handholdy too much and they they're not even that difficult uh they're challenging but the difficulty comes from the fact that the game will not coddle you like most games do like most games at first boss it will be like you can sort of, you just slash away at the boss, right? And the boss is hitting you and your health's going down, but you slash away. Or do a heal, keep slashing. But if you try that in a Souls game, and you don't bother dodging and stuff, you die, right? Like, it forces you to actually play well, whereas a lot of games you can select easy mode, you know, or even on normal mode, you don't have to play well, you can just heal through stuff or whatever. I mean... That's the thing, people on my other channel will know, but I'm a, actually quite a big Souls like fan. Uh, Dark Souls 3 is probably one of my top 5 games. I mean, top 5 games, uh, in, in no particular order, Halo 3, Dark Souls 3... Uh, oh, it's tricky, actually. Sonic Adventure, Kingdom Hearts 1, and... Oh, what would the other one be? Number five, like, it's, there's a lot that could potentially be in that position. 
It could be like Dishonored. Played that a lot. I'm also I was going like for one game per franchise here, but Fable Two. Uh, I don't. I don't think that would be top five. Skyrim. <laughs> what am I talking? What am I talking about? It's Skyrim. <laughs> I completely forgot it existed. You know, I just had an hour of his music on. But uh, yeah, I know it's slightly off piece for Papa's stuff, but I'm not just a Papa's fan. I think that's, uh, if anything, it's kind of good that I'm showing this, that I actually, I am just a big fan of games, you know, if it's a good game. And it doesn't try and suck all my money. You know, it's not a glorified store. Or a glorified time wasting chore game, you know. I mean, you could kind of call these this, but I think there's a there's a certain challenge and sort of addiction with these. That's you know, and they don't they're not trying to nickel and dime you, right? Even the app ones are like, what well, you pay one one dollar one pound to get a to go game, and then you can just play that. That's pretty fair. And all the flash ones are free. Of course, you have to go on the archive now, but... Look at Boomer's thing here. I was playing as her a lot in Papa Louie 2 when I was trying to record this, because she has a good... she has this gun, basically. Um, but, yeah. I don't know what to do about Papa Louie 2. I might try and go back to it at some point, but... Hates hospital food. <laughs> uh, I see. But that's the thing, right? Like, I. There's games that I love. The games that I love, like. Halo. But would I go and randomly make a Halo video on the channel? No. They're not good for videos, you know? Some games that you really like, but they're not gonna make for a good video that's the thing um, but there's some games I do love that I would like to make videos on one day like Fable 2 I'd love to do a Fable 2 playthrough series because it's just it's you know a special game to me it's not the best game ever made of course there's a lot of flaws in those games but I think that's the thing as a youtuber if you're doing what's like you're personally invested in, it's just going to be better than forcing yourself to play whatever the current thing is, whatever's new, or whatever, like, popular thing. Because there's just going to be less sort of passion put into it. You just drag The Sims 4. All my money goes into that game. Oh, that, well, The Sims 3 was the same. Maybe The Sims 3 wasn't quite as egregious, but it was still pretty egregious. And I like The Sims 3, although I only have seven expansions. That sounds ridiculous, but I got them all on sale on Steam. And do need to get the other four expansions. I hope they go on sale at some point, because I do want to play those for that series. But uh, we got a lot of time for that, so... Yeah, if those last four expansions for Sims 3 go on sale at some point, I'll pick them up and then... Then I'll have everything available. I, I do hope that the Sims competitors, like Paralives or whatever, or Life by You, are good enough to scare EA a bit, because I think even people like yourself who spend money on the Sims would rather be able to spend less money and get the same amount, right? Like, it would be better for everyone if you didn't have to pump so much money just to get all those features and stuff, right? But EA have had no reason to do better because they've got no competitors for that gameplay. Because I do think The Sims itself, the game itself, like the core game, first game, second game, third game, even fourth game, the core game is very, it's pretty unique, it's very interesting, right? Like, it's a, it's a great game, but they know that so they can... You know, <laughs> they can take advantage of people very easily. 
uh, because of that. And you can't really get away with that so much for some other games because there's alternatives. Uh, EA's, EA's got that kind of down as well because they've got their football games as well. FIFA, it's not called FIFA anymore, but... Uh, you know, there are, there was like Pez and stuff, but there wasn't really a something on the same level as the FIFA games, so they could just go crazy with like the, the packs, the loot boxes, and all that stuff, you know. Honestly, my long-term plan for like The Sims is The Sims 3 series is absolutely a series I want to do. Uh, yeah, it's not as popular as the Pappas by far, but that's because my channel's not known for it. I've only done two of them, so of course. Uh, but you can't let short-term results uh, dictate your long-term plans too much because then you'll never do anything. If I, if I let the short-term dictate that, then I wouldn't be sat here talking about Pappas and stuff because my first two Pappas videos, Pizzeria and Burgeria, didn't get many views at all. It wasn't until Takomiya and then especially Pancakeria when it popped off, right? So you can't just give up immediately. It's just silly. Um, but you don't want to be sort of jumping around doing everything. But like the Sims 3, I want to go through... I mean, I'm not going to necessarily do every town because some of them are kind of samey, but... What I wanted to do was like, okay, here's the cast of characters... Like at the moment I've got Voxen and Vibes and I'll add in the Blau Blau and I'll add in uh, No Name and stuff. And they'll be there in the town and they'll have their little stories and all that. And then at some point move to another town which in The Sims 3 like is a big deal. In The Sims 4 you can just visit any town anytime you want but in The Sims 3 because of the open world thing. Going to a new town is like starting afresh. So either I would go to a new town and have a different cast of characters or I'd keep some of them the same and swap some of them out maybe um, and then we'd sort of do the stuff for that expansion like late night you know go to the bars and stuff and then have a look at university life and then have a look at blah 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 and all of that you know just sort of go through I thought a funny idea would be to do a town with no residents except for my household. So basically a, a ghost town. Foxen would have a fucking... Oh, he'd have the time of his life. He could steal so much. I mean, he couldn't get into any houses because there'd be no one living there. But like the public spaces, he could steal everything with nobody in sight. I mean, it would generate NPCs for like store vendors and stuff. But it'd be kind of interesting. Maybe just for like a one-off video. Sims 3 um, ghost town. <laughs> The blah blah, yeah. I did actually make the blah blah already in the Sims 3. I might edit him though. I, he's so alien looking. Oh my god. Because I could give him alien eyes and like pointy ears and stuff. And he's got a smooshed face. He looks like a baby alien Megamind looking ass. <laughs> oh my god. It's not as cute maybe as the Papa's one where it's a bit more abstract. <laughs> Boomer. Jumping over a dozen buses on a motorcycle. A famous human cannibal show draws a massive crowd. <gasps> wow. Oh my lord, the, these articles are so long. FIFA where EA buys, buys the rights to use real teams and only EA can use them. Mm. Sneak peek. Uh, I didn't take a picture and I... I can't be booting up Sims 3 right now, but you'll see in due time. I haven't decided if he's going to join next or if No Name is going to join next. I mean, he's a fan favorite, so he might come in next. But... When I did the poll, he was the most popular choice and Voxen was second. So Blah Blah, I don't know, just he's got the he's got the little special something, you know?
It's just silly. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Very silly guy. That's why he's... um. Oops. That's why he's poking up from the top here. You know? Has to be different. Now I know... Uh, in my mind his head is a literal bowling ball. Oh, it'd be great if I could do that in The Sims. Like just stick a bowling ball on there. I would definitely do it if I could. I know Long Long Peggy isn't here, but the thing is, Long Long Peggy is not really much of a character. I basically just made her because I didn't want to waste the custom character opportunity in Hot Doggeria. But I really wanted to play as Peggy, so I did an in-between. I did Goth Peggy with Long Neck. But the Blah Blah has the role of Long Neck now, so we don't need a Long Neck character. So, here's the canon. Long Long slash Short Short Peggy reformed with the actual Peggy. Peggy got her dark side back, and they're a whole complete being again now, right? So, there we go. Because I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring Long Long Peggy to another game, for example, right? Because, you know, she's very much just a Papa's character. I mean, the server's a little tricky as well, because she's like a, you know, a preacher for Papa. But she could be a preacher for someone else. You know, she could probably adjust. Um, she died? Yeah, yeah, basically. Blah blah rated to Kailu. Who's that? Oh wait, someone mentioned that before. <laughs> this baby looking thing. Hold on. This? Seems to have the set as head cheat. I have not seen that before. I don't think so. Loathsome, loathsome characters wiki. Loathsome characters wiki. What? It's Kailu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Do people hate this? I hate Kailu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact there's a loathsome characters wiki is amazing. Oh, there's a song. I don't even know what this is. So this guy, Canadian, uh, Canadian animated TV series of the same name. He's the main protagonist. Four-year-old bold boy. So this is like the Ice Age Caillou. Oh, it's like Caillou? Okay. So this is like the Ice Age baby. People just fucking hate this guy. This kid. Yeah, no, Zablabla blah, blah has nothing to do. Zablabla blah, blah would never be related to a, a loathsome character. Zablabla blah, blah is a loved character. I hope. <laughs> Simply watch the intro. Am I going to... Maybe I should do that off stream. I don't know if I get a copyright if I watch a TV intro. Ah, I probably wouldn't, but I better not risk it. First stream. First and only stream. That wouldn't be that bad. It might get the stream muted, though. More of a menace than Dennis. Well, I, from what I hear, Dennis. I remember watching some Dennis the Menace. But from the seams of it, Dennis was actually quite misunderstood. <laughs> no, it's a blah blah on fucking Sims. He's like, oh, I don't know. I might have to tweak him a bit because he's, he's looking a bit creepy at the moment. I mean, the first thing I think of is Megamind, but he's not blue. He's like pallid white. He's like completely like alabaster white. Um, but he really does remind me of Megamind with his fucking big forehead. Uh... No, I don't think I have. No. Sims. Oh no. I thought that was a blah blah at first, but it's not. This is an old character I made in The Sims 3. Um, 
It's got a touch of the zip blah blah, but no, this was um when I tried streaming Sims 3 like a couple years ago uh, to my other audience. This was a weird. Oh yeah, I I did a thing where you can like a mod where it makes it so you can make the sliders go way bigger than they're supposed to be able to go. Uh, so this happened. Um, <laughs> And also we had, ah, oh, this is like deep Novion lore here. We also had this guy. Oh, that's me. Well, there's, I mean, I'm, I didn't know I was in this picture. But anyway, I've already, you can already see me in the fucking World of Goo video, so it's not a big deal. But I can't remember what his name was. He was a freaky guy anyway. Um, who else do we have? I had someone actually who was a bit of a precursor to vibes, weirdly enough. It was like, um... It was a mix between vibes and the server, because she looked like kind of how the server does, but creepier. But she had the personality of, well, not really. She was like, I'm going to make everybody happy. Her name was Happy Sappy. I don't think I'd bring her back, because she's too much like vibes and sort of demeanor, but... Oh man, I'm remembering all these fucking... One of the people watching the stream, I can't remember any of their names, but there was a character who turned into a vampire, and then she died and became a vampire ghost. And then she started living with the family again. <laughs> it was a whole fucking thing, man. Hopefully some crazy stuff like that happens on the, uh, the new series. Beautiful arc, I know. Where did my uh, window capture go as well? God damn it. There we go. Uh, this is why I don't stream my gameplay recordings, because it's just too difficult to deal with. There we go, we're back. Back to loathsome characters like Caillou. Is Vox and a Vibes a Golden Retriever and Black Cat TikTok? I don't exactly know what that is, but I can kind of guess. I mean, Vibes is definitely the Golden Retriever. Voxen, uh... See, the thing about Voxen is he... He gets, like, fiendish. So he's not, like, a kind of just, like... Sort of moody... Uh... I don't know how to describe it, but... It's not sort of neutral character. People wish cancer on a fictional animated child. Oh my god. I mean, it's not good when it starts with, I'm just a brat who's four. Each day I scream some more. I ruin children. I'm Caillou. What? He's like some evil villain. So many... What? What is this? So many crap to do. Each day I whine some new. I'll badly influence kids. How is he the protagonist? I guess it's just like when the villain's the protagonist, I guess, but... My world is breaking tantrums each day with mommy and daddy barely punishing me. Growing up is very tough, such as when I've screamed enough. There's lots of badly influenced kids. I'm Caillou, 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 I'm Caillou, that's me. Foxen's more of a fox. Foxen? The YouTube subtitles keeps... Oh, well, the YouTube subtitles cause him a lot of things, but Foxen is one of them. When I have to correct it. Foxen? Uh, boxen. It really likes boxen. I'm like, how am I saying B? I'm saying V. Voxen. It calls him everything except for Voxen. Boxen and Foxen and... Like, Vox and... K 
Ka Kai's parents don't even discipline him. Well, I guess that's what this is about. Barely punishing me. Big bratty jerkish boy who won't grow some more. The true reason why this character is hated. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I need to find out who else is on the loathsome characters wiki. Spongebob's there. Scrappy Doo's there, of course. Cat in the Hat. I don't know, though. Cat in the Hat's kind of... Oh, I thought that would be a link. It's not. And the Cat in the Hat should be... Oh, for God's sake. Is it not on here? There he is. I mean, the Cat in the Hat should be a... Uh... More of like a creepy, right? I guess it's because it's the live action one is, you know, just awful interpretation of the character. Yeah, I saw the annoying orange as well. Yeah, maybe Squidward wrote the... <laughs> Squidward added him. Ned Flanders is there? I mean, I guess Flanderized Flanders. It's the whole thing's named after him. Oh, the, the fucking Shark Tail guy. Shark Tail Fish is there as well. Goku's there? Man. Oh, the blue thing. What's the, what's the name of this? Blue something? Blue, blue? I remember watching that a little bit. Yeah, he was annoying, actually. Yeah, I never liked him. Holy crap, it's Will Smith. Yeah, Blue. Blue. Oh, whoops. Blue regards Q Kazoo. Mm-hmm. Funny thing is, uh, Keith Ferguson is a uh, voice actor for Marluxia in Kingdom Hearts, so... All too familiar with the voice actor, but much prefer him as Marluxia. <laughs> yeah, this seems like, um, yeah, I, I do remember him being a little bit irritating. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa? What's Uncle Grandpa? No. We, we got this guy. This <laughs> this makes sense. He's a, he's a piece of shit. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, damn it. Why is his status alive? <laughs> This is too funny, man. This is what this is what I like doing on stream, not playing games. I like looking at weird shit like this. You can talk a lot more about stuff like this. Who, who else should be on here? Let's have a look. What else have we got? Maybe there'll be someone... Um, <laughs> Recent blogs. Another bad page example of Caillou. <laughs> uh. Uh. Explore. Is there not a way I can see like a nice list? Can I see like old featured articles? Uh, Thomas? Uh, to be fair, Thomas could be a little prick sometimes. Maybe more so in the new ones, though. Ooh, that's not nice. It's gone flanderized. Yeah, I thought that seemed the case. Also, his voice is so irritating from what... From the little I've seen of the, the animated ones. Yeah, Thomas got very annoying. Moronic, selfish, and annoying hypocrite. Why'd they do that to, like, main characters? Chris Kratt. What do you mean, Pratt? Or is there an actual Chris Kratt? Let's check that first. It's 
doesn't come up there. Chris McLean. Pepper Pig. Uh, yep, Twilight. Buck Cluck. Oh, Chicken Little's dad. All right. I always thought he was called Cock Big. Uh, Vector the Crocodile. <laughs> really? Uh, he can't be that hated, surely. Although it's the Sonic X version. I don't know much about that. Especially regards to Family Guy and Spongebob. Family Guy is insane for it. They all became psychopaths. Really don't like... Uh, the oldest Family Guy is actually good, but... Yeah. You know who should be on here? Mm. He's... No, he's really loved, but... I, I think... Um, I'm talking about Digital Circus. Digital Circus, if anyone's seen that. Jacks in that. To be fair, Gooseworks did say that people would either um, love Jax or hate him. Bella Swan was their uh, Rosalina. Why she's mostly intentionally a, a bad wife and bad adopted mother now? I have no idea what's... Oh my god. What's going on with this? <laughs> oh yeah, good... Uh, well, good night, I guess, here. Uh, very literal. Don't let your kids watch it! <laughs> I hope Robbie Rotten's not on here. Yay, he's on great characters. Incredible characters wiki. That's a bit more fun. Hey, man, the episode where he had a little, like he decided to join them in the song, that should have been the final episode, where he joined them in the song at the end, and he like turned good for a little bit. Let's have a look at the incredible characters. Oh, Thomas is on here as well. Um, Mickey's on here, Spyro, Batman. Uh, yeah, fair enough. This, uh, this is mostly just, like, very popular characters. Oh my god, the barnyard cow? That was on TV a few weeks ago. Fucking hell. Mickey Mouse should not be here. <laughs> uh, incredible characters, Wiki. What, ev what are we doing here? Uh, where's... So, we need to get him on here if he's not. Uh, Papa Louie's not on here? Wow, this has got to change. We need to get Papa Louie on here. <laughs> Rick? Eh, well, I guess. I mean... Technically... He's a piece of shit, but I know that's the point. He's doing great despite being held hostage as prisoner to Disney. SpongeBob and Goku are on both. <laughs> yeah. Dudley Puppy. Oh, you can actually click on these ones. This actually works. Dudley Puppy. I don't know anything about this. Spongebob and Goku really are like this. They're just the same guy, really. <laughs> Extremely dim-witted and air-headed action hero. And this is a whole rabbit hole I'm going down now. It's terrible. This is a problem with um, my uh, streaming. This is why I could never stream games well enough. I just wanted to go down random internet rabbit holes and fucking talk about shit. I didn't want to just. I didn't want to play the game. 
Uh, popular blogs. Is this... No, I don't want blogs. I just want pages. What's the most popular pages? Recent activity. Honestly, the loathe characters is more funny. Butch Hartman creation. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose the art style. Oh, look who's here. Again, I'm trying to click it, but it doesn't work like that on this one. Um, anyway, look, it's Meh, or whatever his name is. Emoji. Now I'm not defending emojis because of that movie. Should we add any of the characters from Mega Mind versus a Doom Syndicate? Man, what an absolute shame that is. That thing existing. I'm a little bit concerned Kung Fu Panda 4 is going to suck, actually. Uh, recent changes. Beast? Oh, it's new Beast. Right, literally, just the fact he exists is um, bound to happen, isn't it? It's bound to end up on here because he's not, he's not the beast we know and love. So there's a lot of those, yeah, like Lumiere and stuff. Bell's match. Okay, that's getting so. That's such a deep cut. Is Willy Wonka on here? Newer one might be. No, it doesn't seem like it. Nova Yon. Ah. We need to get me on the loathsome characters wiki. <laughs> Ugly CGI mediocre singing are enough. Yeah. Uh, I just wish there was a way I could like just look at a nice list. Maybe there is and I'm just missing it. What about a random page? Uh, I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Should be Voxen's life goal, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, I mean... I just, this is so funny to me, people like explaining why they're like bad. Uh, well, you see, uh, why they can't bust ghosts. Uh, number one, as all of them are female ghostbusters in the film, they have no purpose whatsoever other than the fact their creation is all about political agendas rather than being actual ghostbusters or entertaining an audience. Uh, number two, they don't feel like they actually exist since they mostly exist to add new materials not found in the original two films. It's <laughs> just like, someone's actually gone... <laughs> I have written all of this. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me. By the way, I'm definitely using that voice for a character. I don't know what character yet, but I've got to, I got to fucking do that voice for a character. I got to do the, uh, I got to do the edgy uh, trapped guy's voice as well. Why do I feel so trapped? Actually, I've already made that character in Papillary Powers. So I know what he's gonna look like. Bunsen is a beast is another awful show. Bubsy the cat. Bubsy. Bubsy T. Bobcat. It's a shame they have to pit like the voice actor. Don't, don't disrespect the voice actor. Like fucking hell, it should be common decency. But you know what people are like on the internet. Not just the internet, actually, real life, you know, there's stories about, like, soap opera and just actors generally. Actors getting harassed because of something their character did. Like, are you serious? How stupid do people have to be where they go to an actor and be like, I hate what you did in this show. Like, they're the one who did it. <laughs> yeah, make the nerdiest character. He makes witty one-liners, how can he be bad? Well... Here is why he, he, he here you go. Look, this is why. 
Uh, number one, he was only conceived to cash in on the 90s mascot craze, uh, being jump-started by the success of Sonic the Hedgehog, since Bubsy is a playable character of his own mediocre to terrible platform games. I keep, uh, I do like a little pushing my glasses up expression. Uh, including the infamous Bubsy 3D, only known for being one of the worst games. Oh, that's right. I just remembered who this is. It's Bubsy 3D. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look how long this is. He often gets talkative and constantly says unfunny things that can get annoying fast. I can get on this wiki. I can be on this wiki. I do that. Redeeming qualities. Oh, hey, it's not also it's not so bad. <laughs> this is so beyond the scope of what the stream was supposed to be. Redeeming qualities. Well, his characterization as a bobcat with the ability to glide is kind of interesting, if silly and bizarre, but is executed poorly due to the... gets way too accident prone and self-destructive. <laughs> Since he can break the fourth wall, he openly mocks players and the developers themselves, who kind of deserve it by the way. He has memory... he has many memorable quotes. Yes. Yes. Cartoons are my forte, I've seen all. Petition to be an ICW or LCW. <laughs> Let's go for both. That's, you just gotta be divisive, you know? Is he here? Yes, he is here. I never watched this show, though. Um, if anything, I, I didn't see many cartoons at all, especially not American ones. We always had like CBBC on, you know, BBC and stuff, so there wasn't a lot of American stuff on that. Who's this pencil looking? Who's that? Anyone know who that is? Oh, it's Norman! Of course, fucking Norman's on here. That makes sense. I'm sure they probably made him worse as well. Although I did watch, I saw an episode because my nephew is around, right? So we had um, Fireman Sam on, which is what this is, and it was a modern one, so it was this awful animation, and uh, no diss to the animators, just an awful style. But, but it was actually a bit unfair for this Norman guy, uh, this kid, because his parents were like, Norman, go to the shop and go and buy us, go and buy something from the shop, go and buy dinner from the shop. And he's like a fucking like 10 year old or something. I don't know, maybe like 13 or something. Like, go go buy stuff, from, go get something from the shop. And he didn't want to because he'd been watching a scary movie on his TV. And it was dark outside and he was like, it was a stormy. But his parents were sending him out to get something from a shop on a stormy night on his own. I'm like, you know, I kind of understand why he's ended up the way he is, because he has fucking abusive parents. <laughs> They're sending him out <laughs> during a storm at night time to buy something. What? What? And then he ends up setting fire to the house or some shit, you know, because that's Fireman Sam, obviously. A fire happens. It's usually his fault. Uh... <laughs> Because he was scared. Imagine if they actually reference this here. It wasn't Norman's fault. That's so funny. People are so in depth about kids' shows. Yeah, I mean, he does have an annoying voice, but that's another thing they did. They seem to do with these kids' shows is uh, give characters like more obnoxious voices for some reason than they had before. I don't really know why they do that. They're like, oh, kids need really silly voices. No, 
adults who watch Papa's videos need silly voices. <laughs> Come on. Was that four? Four. Four is an integer. I... Well, I have no idea who this is, but... Damn it. They're alive as well. Battle for... Battle for BFB. What? I like to imagine that LCW is made by a bunch of Twitter users. Well, it does feel like that. It feels a bit Reddit as well. Like this bit feels quite Reddit. <laughs> I guess it also feels a bit like Twitter users making a thread about trying to cancel someone. <laughs> Here's a thread on why this person's terrible. I'm going to go through everything in the past and bring it up. <laughs> I'm such a good... Guys, follow me. I'll expose more people because I'm so virtuous. <laughs> uh... Follow your friends. What a strange thing. Recent changes, Jimmy Crystal. How many grated voices listed before them being a psychopath? Oh yeah, the voice is great, grating to listen to. They have little or no empathy for others. <laughs> they don't care how others feel. As often they bully their friends for no good reason, such as the gelatin for stabbing them by accident. I, it's so funny when I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a four. I can see that, but... Uh, what about redeeming qualities? They still have a nice design. <laughs> uh, oh, there's comments here as well. Oh, man. I, uh, I just love shit like this. Weird, nonsense internet stuff. Nice design, yeah. I and mean, if you like fours, I have to disagree though because that's I don't like this type of four. Uh, I actually I much prefer the four where the um, this one's angled so it's connecting like that. Uh, yeah, I definitely prefer that kind of four. So definitely imperfect. All right, we have to look at the annoying orange here. Yeah. The titular main protagonist of the YouTube series through his nickname. Sadly, he got butchered when a TV series adaptation of it titled The High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange came out on Cartoon Network. I had no idea that was a thing. He became much, much worse than his television. Uh, just like on the main channel, where he became much, much worse. It's a rather undeveloped character by TV show standards. <laughs> I, I'd never heard of that BFDI thing before. I mean, I wouldn't have heard of a lot of this. Of course, I know the Annoying Orange, but... Any Steven Universe characters? If I search for the, maybe if I search for this, or come up with pages that have it. Um, yes, yes, there's two. Ronaldo Fryman and Pink Diamond. I do with that what you will, because I don't know any of this. This is just so funny. I just wish I could find, like... I mean, that's the thing. I'd have to think of a character. Did I say hypocritical fascist? Or was that on hers? Oh, yeah. Hypocritical fascist. Well, maybe she is, but... Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I just love that people have arguments about this. Sounds like a Papa's character, honestly. Uh... <laughs> I, well, I don't know what that is. Oh, Francine. Francine's here? She's Flanderizing Seasons 11 to 13. Lois would definitely be here. I think Lois... Oh, it's a featured article. Yeah. Lois definitely... Uh, got a lot worse. I, I don't really know too much with American Dad because I've seen some American Dad, but I've never really like known much about like which season is which or whatever. So um, is he? Is Stan here? Oh, he's on great characters, right? Why she doesn't kindle joy anymore. New character name idea. <laughs> I have actually... Um, and Papa Louis Powers, I was messing around with it a bit today. Uh, what else do you do on a Sunday? Well, usually I'm busy on Sunday, but not today. But I did concept uh, three new characters to use on Papa's games. Uh, the edgy trapped style protagonist guy and a wizard that's all I say a wizard character and then another female character who's I'm not really sure about her yet like I kind of have ideas but um, I don't exactly know what I'm doing yet maybe she could be the nerd character you know doesn't have to be a, a male character And tapped out. I thought that was about the Simpsons game for a second. I was like, whoa, what? Oh. Okay. All right. Have I crashed the Loisome characters wiki? I'm the first person to look at this and like, you've seen too much. It's like, just please stop. You don't want to do this. Haley's on great characters, Steve's on great characters, Stan's on great characters. I mean, she's probably on great characters as well. For like... Banned from Loathsome Characters Wiki. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, we went raw. We went very raw with it. They can't handle all this traffic. One person's looking at the wiki. Alarm, <laughs> the fucking alarms are going woo woo! Okay, uh, well, I guess that ends our time with the Loisome Characters Wiki. <laughs> Maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Hope I didn't ruin your wiki too much. Hey, look, that's much better. The server room blew up. Yeah, the wizard guy is a bit, is still a bit conceptual as well at the moment. But the, yeah, the, the edgy protagonist guy, edgy like anime star protagonist, I have him down. I know exactly what I'm doing with him. I don't know which game I'll do that on, because I'm doing myself on Freezer Ray Deluxe. I, you know, I gotta be a little egotistical. I wouldn't have to do a silly voice at least. Don't say, your voice is really silly. <laughs> yes. I could be a PNG tuber. PN, PN tuber, whatever. Amazing. I could rant about these kids' shows, you know? Our pioneer Caillou from Loathsome Characters Wiki is gone. I know, he's the one who brought us there. Just take pictures of the different poses in Papa Louie Pals. And then, um... There you go, just stick myself in the corner. 
I guess this is more VTuber-y for a stream, but... Uh, looking the wrong way, that's fine. Uh... This is why this kid's show you love. This is why the show you loved as a kid actually sucks. Here's my one hour long video essay on why this sucks. Why SpongeBob sucks after the tenth season or something, I don't know. Make a baby version of your Papa Power self. <laughs> uh, someone else have to do that. Yeah, it'd be nice and easy for, um, I know it's the pose as well, right? It's like the, like, uh, yeah, this, this Family Guy episode was kind of shit, yeah. Yeah, not really, I wasn't really sure about this one, guys. And then we need the pose where they're, like, angry, then we need the pose where they're like, yay! Like, um, like that. We need that pose. <laughs> Crossed arms, oh yeah, absolutely a crossed arms pose. <laughs> Silly Wizzy. Yeah, I haven't even decided on the name yet. I had one idea for the name, but wasn't sure about it. Oh, honestly, you know who should be on that fucking loathsome character's wiki? You know, damn it! You know who really should be on the loathsome characters wiki. Uh, the the literal guy from the Trapped trilogy. Yeah, it's probably too obscure, but I mean, there was some obscure stuff on there. If anyone who watched that video will know, the most ridiculous villain. Oh, Diala, but you're actually the leader of our organization the whole time. Sorry, baby doll. Um, Dan McNeely, Dan Mc, yeah, Dan McNeely. Fucking Dan McNeely, man. <laughs> that trapped video was a, that was a fever dream for me, honestly. Oh god. It was good fun. It was stupid. It was absolutely stupid, but in a fun way. Um, and then, well, actually, Diala actually got a bit better as she went on, since she started out as just, um, oh, a hostage, she's kind of cute, and then she was just there like, I was supposed to work for blah, 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 and then, uh, in the second part, she starts off like, my gun, in case I need to use it, very kind of cakey, and then, <laughs> she's trapped in a prison cell, the love of her life, um, thingy, whatever his name is. I should know because I have him as an emote. What's his name? Uh, whatever, the, the, her, her boyfriend character dies, gets killed, thrown into the cell that she's in, and she goes, yeah, Mickey, and then she goes, um... <laughs> Why do I feel so trapped? <laughs> it's because you're in a fucking prison cell. <laughs> what do you mean? The dialogue, the writing. Oh, it's so stupid. You gotta love it. Um... Yeah, oh, they, um... I gotta get rid. Sorry, this is t it's looking like I'm actually doing that seriously now. Um, I, I, just, I can't be doing that. Right, discard changes. There we go. The Doodle God video did better than I expected as well. Honestly, that one was kind of surprising. Um, Doodle God was good. I don't really know why, honestly. But I guess it was pretty f famous. What is the show called? What show? 
Whoops. Yeah. This actually was a video on my other channel as well. The old deleted one. Um, that's quite an old video, really. Because it's... Uh, well, it's not that old. But it's over a year old. It's quite different, actually. It's probably the most different style in here. Well, no. No, that one is. But... It's very, like, uh, chilled out, honestly. But it is Minesweeper. Um, but... Oh, good old Wally. And I made these two... Made these two last year... Well, I made some of these last year, but, like, early last year. Actually, I, I can't even remember when I, originally I made it. No, it probably was early last year, yeah. Well, oh, Pancaker is up pretty high now, 38 fucking thousand, wow. I hadn't checked the views in that in a while. Zero characters in Tomodachi life. There's um, someone on my Discord did that, right? Was putting my characters in their game. Was that the game? Or was that a different game? You and P Poofy sure the only two YouTubers I've seen play Pappas recently. Uh, yeah, well, Ross a lot as well. We were talking about some of the other ones earlier. Um, it's had I don't know if it's had a resurgence or if it's just always been more popular than I thought. But I was surprised there was more Papa video stuff on YouTube. And it was more popular like in terms of views than I ever expected. I didn't make this series because I thought it was going to get views. I made it just because I thought it would be a fun thing to do, right? Go through each of them and see the changes and stuff. And then I got really surprised by, I mean this, but really surprised by this video popping off. And I was like, what? How did it, how did that happen? Wingery has done pretty well as well. Um, they've done all right. It's always a bit of a discrepancy when you, obviously, when you make a video with 30,000, the trap to fall into is to be like, I need to do that again. But like, that's, that's like, a, um, that's not normal amount, right? That's an outlier amount. You can't expect every video to be just like that, especially when you've, you're still small, you're still a very small channel. You know, you, you shouldn't be there like, oh, but if it doesn't get that many views, just no, just fucking make what you want to make and make it good. That's the thing to do. <laughs> That's obviously what I learned from my other channel where I really desperately tried to sort of do what I thought I had to. And I don't want to do that again, right? Because I like making the Papa's videos. That's the key thing. I don't do it because I feel forced to. I actually like making them. What is a YouTube banner? <laughs> yeah, this. I love this because it's such a deep cut. Um, how do I even explain this? So when I used to stream a lot uh, on my Twitch, one of the mascots of the stream was my plush from Kingdom Hearts Shadow Heartless. Uh, I see if I have the picture of it. Yeah, well, look, it's a, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a shadow from Kingdom Hearts, right? And that was kind of the mascot, and one of my viewers, who's still around, they're in the Discord, named him Frederick, right? And then I had this, like, drama mask, you know, like, drama masks. Um, I put it on Frederick, and then he became, like, a weird, creepy version of himself, and then I put a filter on it, and then it became a weird mask. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. But now it's just, I'm like, hey, that's a good as enough banner as any. I could do like a professional banner where it's like, oh, Novion. Oh, look, here's some of the characters and stuff. Oh, but I'm like, I don't know. That's fucking weird. I like it. <laughs> I just like how weird it is. 
I like that people can click on it, see that, and be like, what the hell is that? That's what I want. Uh, also, colors match with my logo, so... <laughs> Mask guy from the creepy pastors. I don't know what that guy is, but hold on, I better do this before I search that. Well, oh, there's different ones. Masky? Are you talking about Masky or Eyeless Jack? The masked man. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like masky. Yeah. Um, this. What the? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw the dolphin. <laughs> I just saw this. Okay, I've got to be careful, man. There's some shit's going to come up if I'm, if I'm not careful here. I've got to be careful looking up stuff like that. Uh, did I just see Wattpad, by the way? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think my guy's as creepy as that, at least, but... It does make me seem more like a horror YouTuber or something, and then you go into this and it's just silliness, but... Hey, you know. Into the Wattpad rabbit hole? That's definitely a dangerous one to go down. <laughs> Some mini jump scare on TV. Yeah, without knowing the Frederick Law. That's the thing. Where's my Wikipedia? Well, I need to. I need to be ten times, no, hundred times the size, and then get a wiki. Then we can. Everyone can start writing law, and they can start writing characters they hate and stuff. Oh yeah, the manager. He should be on the loathsome wiki. Screaming about screaming at Bob all the time. Or oh, meanie. A fun hole though. Yeah. A fun hole. What pad is like uh fan fiction stuff, right? Or just like writing generally. Amateur writing. What was the... Oh, yeah. What was his name? Richard Boss. Yeah, we've got to get R Richard Boss <laughs> on the Loathsome Characters wiki. That's the thing, is that he's, he's too obscure. This is why I need to be a big YouTuber. This is the only reason why. Uh, big YouTuber, get my own wiki, and then someone can make an article for Richard Boss. And then you can put, like, status alive and stuff, and there you go. Someone can hyperfixate on that. <laughs> Reader X character all over Wattpad. I assume that's kind of the stuff. And then Bob can be on the amazing characters, incredible characters part. Because Bob's the best. There's Mickey. Oh, look. And Diala comes up first. Yeah, this is the guy I want to do. Poor fellow here. Papa's character inspired by... Why does this sound so weird? I guess I've got the volume really down. Um, right, where does he start talking? How familiar this really is. Where am I? Why am I here? I, I can't remember. Who am I? Mr. Trapped. And why do I feel so... Trapped. Oh, he's so edgy. He's so edgy. Why do I feel so trapped? Two Novas, yeah. He's not going to look like him, though. And his name's not Dan McNeely, but... Uh, it's kind of inspired by it. What pad dialogue? <laughs> oh, God. This was a fucking... Also, this was a long one. It took me a while to make this one because there was a whole three parts I had to edit down. Oh, it's so funny. 
Yeah, to be fair, it was it was fun, right? Also, Diala's voice actress is good because she ends up being um, 2B in Near Automata. That's pretty cool. He said the thing. He said the. He said the thing. Oh yeah, we got to get to her saying it actually. Uh, somewhere in here. Here we go. <laughs> Why do I feel so trapped? Because you are... You are trapped. <laughs> oh, God. It was a fever dream. Random flash game videos. I mean, I... Uh, I do like it. It's just, it's hard to do when it's like... Sort of very one-off. And it's not a series for people to sort of get invested in. Well, I guess the series itself is like the Flash series, but... Um, I mean, I'm still thinking about, like, what could work well for it. There's a lot of Flash games I remember that I obviously liked back in the day, but they just wouldn't be good for content. This was great for content because it was so silly. Let's put it nicely. It was so silly. Um, and also, like, the gameplay was very easy to talk over. I didn't have to focus too much. Oh, red. <laughs> oh, I am so scared. <laughs> I mean, his voice was definitely better than Mickey's, and Mickey was just kind of like... He was just talking. He was just like, Diallo, I'm sorry. I can't let you do this. I have to go alone. This is old, like, old throwbacks. Uh, oh, I do need to, I hope... The stream, uh, I don't know. That original stream VOD, the first part, where I had the bitrate on 80,000 by accident. Classic programmer error, I guess, adding an extra zero. Uh, I don't know if that VOD will be okay or not. So, it might be a little fucked up. Since the stream was apparently lagging because of a... Yeah, 80,000 bitrate. Not good. It's meant to be 8,000. But... At least that's something I know about now. So if I do this again... <laughs> that won't be a problem. But, um, yeah, that's... Basically, the idea is... Uh, for streaming, I know streaming's not streaming. A bit of streaming on a Tuesday. Nova thumbnail tutorial is now lost media. It might be honestly. I might have to fucking do it again at some point. Just that one poor person who asked for it. <laughs> but the um, yeah, streaming to me is much better when it's not like all the time, and it's not like streaming the games I'm trying to do videos on because then it's a conflict of interest of trying to record the video which would be good for a video and trying to talk to chat and it's just too it's pulling me in two different directions is not good but um streaming like this on YouTube because Twitch is kind of shit as well I'm not a big fan of Twitch um but I don't even watch much Twitch other than one streamer now anyway but streaming on YouTube is like a once every whatever interval thing and we just do other stuff, you know, we just chat and we just look at loathsome characters wiki, looking at stuff like that. I just think that's a lot better. It's a lot more casual. It's not interfering with the rest of my content. It's just nice. This is a nice fun thing to do, you know. I looked up X Reader on Wattpad and the first one I see is um, Truth Ray X Reader. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, when I hear Ray now, I mostly think of my sister's cat because, yeah, her name is Ray. The cat, obviously. 
Oh, she's a derpy cat, I'll tell you that much. Absolute whore for treats as well, for cat treats. My goodness. Open the treat door and she'll jump up and f fucking pull everything out. I think if you're being a streamer, uh, like an actual, like, you stream games, you play games and stuff. Twitch is still better because it's more fully featured. It's more dedicated to it. It's got more discoverability and YouTube's discoverability for streams is terrible. But it's okay because for me, doing like occasional streams about other stuff, YouTube is perfect because I don't want discoverability. I don't want random people coming across this stream and checking it out. That's not the point. The point is to, to do something for the people already here, right? For you guys already subscribed. It's not for random people to come over. That's what I liked about streaming when I used to do it a lot on Twitch. I actually just liked hanging out with the people from the channel. Uh, it, I didn't really care about like trying to get new people to come and watch and stuff. I do that with videos, right? Much better, much better way of doing it. But I think on the user end, YouTube is better as well because... Like, I can turn off ads completely on YouTube streams, whereas on Twitch you have to have at least, like, pre-roll ads. And that's not great if someone goes onto a stream and they're not subscribed or they don't have Twitch Nitro or whatever. And the first thing they get is six, six uh, ads, right? Like, six or seven ads that go on for two minutes before they can even watch the stream. By that point, they're like, eh, don't care, and they've clicked off. It's terrible. Never mind when uh, it's trying to Twitch is trying to like tell people to put mid roll ads in a stream, which YouTube does offer me, but I turn it off because I think mid rolls on a stream is so wrong because some people will get them and some people won't. So some people will miss a couple of minutes of a stream and some people won't, and you're still talking during it. I mean, if you run an ad and you're off like pissing or something and you're just running an ad while there's nothing happening, that's okay because no one's missing anything. But if you're running ads randomly, and at any point someone who's watching a live stream, suddenly an ad comes up and they miss something, and now they're out of the loop. It's just shit, isn't it? It's a shit user experience. But Twitch is losing money. Like Twitch is not um, profitable for them, so they have to stick in as many like monetization things. Prime subs now as well don't support the streamer. Like this summer, I think Prime subs are going to be lower revenue share for the streamer, so that's bad. So like Twitch to me is like a sinking ship. I I have no interest in it anymore, really. I could just stream here and just do like side things on here and then make videos. Missing a giveaway to a mid-roll ad, I know. Like, YouTube streaming isn't as good as Twitch's for features, but if it's your little side thing you're doing alongside videos, then it's perfectly fine. Why try and send people to another platform when I can just do it right here? And it just stays as a video afterwards, and then it's there, isn't it? I mean, I think, <laughs> I think that explains it all, to be honest. This guy could be a PNG tuber. Look at him. He could, oh, he could absolutely be a PNG tuber. <laughs> He's a featureless void. Yeah, well, YouTube could upgrade. Also, the, um, the YouTube revenue share for subscriptions and stuff, or memberships, as they're called here, is better than Twitch's. Twitch is 50-50. And then partners had 70-30 if they had a contract. Uh, but now they're changing that, so you can only get the 70-30 if you're on the special partner partner plus thing on Twitch. You have to have a lot of subscribers. Um, so now it's going to be 50-50 for the vast majority of people on Twitch. On YouTube, it's 70-30 uh, as is, right? For our memberships. I don't have memberships turned on here because, um, you know... I, I don't really stream consistently enough, I don't think, to warrant doing that. You know, the super chats and stuff's on, but that's not really my main concern. My main concern is just hanging out. <laughs> but maybe YouTube will add more, yeah, more improvements and stuff. But I don't know, they feel like they've been sitting on their hands a bit. Fair enough. 
Flash version is better than Steam. But yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, I might do something with the Flash version to tie it in so I can do the, the silly part, right? The quitting day, as it were. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have fond memories of making this video, I have to say. It was a bit frustrating at the time. Oh, the subtitles were a oh, They were a nightmare as well. But they are half the time anyway, but... Fucking Diala. We make a video of Palateria right when it comes out. Uh, no, because I want to make sure I do Mokaria and Cluckeria first. I want to do those three in the order they've come out, so... Not right when it comes out. Whenever I've done at least one video on Mokaria and Cluckeria. Mokaria. Mokaria is probably how I should say it. Mocha. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but what I'll probably do is I'll still play Deluxe for, like, the tryharding bit. And then when I want to do, like, a, a silly quitting day, I might, like, go, Oh, we've gone back in time to Flash Freezer here. And then I'll, like, I'll play a bit of that on my own to get to a point where I can do a, a silly part. And then, yeah, I'll do something like that, right? You know, behind-the-scenes stuff. Oh yeah, I like doing the subtitles because most, from what I've seen, most people on YouTube for non-scripted videos, because scripted videos are easy, right? A scripted video, all you have to do is take your script, adjust it if you went off script a bit, plug it into the auto, the auto uh, placement, and then that's there. I mean, the placement's not great because YouTube kind of placed things in as just like solid blocks of lines rather than as a natural talking pace. So even then, it's a little bit flawed, but on my other channel, I would just sort of plug the script in. But these are unscripted videos, so I can't do that. Uh, but what I do is YouTube takes the auto... YouTube does the auto captions, right? I take that, I put it in a document, I fix up the errors and the spelling mistakes and the incorrect things where I thought I said something else. Like Papa usually turns into paper or pepper, like pepper Pig. Or like some other random shit so I have to f I fix the, that up uh, and then I plug it back into captions and then I just space everything out right I just like enter new line enter new line blah 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 and then it makes it much better because it's please actually please can you stop being a weirdo damn I love that that's screwing right there bed Hediala. yeah so it's like a lot more uh, in line with how it's actually said. It does take a bit of time, but I think it's one of those things where it's quite a boring job, but it's worth doing, right? Because it just makes the video easier to follow for people. I just, uh, from what I've seen, a lot of big YouTubers who do unscripted videos don't bother, and I know it takes a lot of their time, and they're quite busy a lot of the time doing it full time, right? They hire editors and stuff, but maybe they could buy captions. Uh, you know, if they're big enough to afford that, maybe they could pay someone to do the captions. I just feel like it's something I can do that makes stuff, like, makes my videos better in a way, in a more, like, core way. Because what annoys me is, it annoys me a little bit, is you look up any, like, Minecraft, right? You look up any Minecraft video, uh, who looks suitably... Oh, no, Mumbo Jumbo's good. Gotta like Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, but who looks suitably annoying? <laughs> About to drag someone here. I, I didn't mean that. I said drag someone. That, that was not related. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking hell, why can't I just get the Minecraft videos? Maybe this one, I don't know. Yeah, 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 perfect, thank you. 
What I don't like is like this, so right? I was flying around my world, I ran into this. Nice. Oh my god, what the heck? This is kind of cool. This island is so isolated and So this is like, cold. okay, yeah, There's it's subtitles. It's one word at a time because ADHD. Uh it's cold. And I know it's like it's the thing so people do it. Some some company but it only does it certain times in the video. It's obviously to try and keep people's attention. Um, and then you actually go on the subtitles, and what have you got? Auto-generated. That's it. There's no actual subtitles on the video. It just rubs me the wrong way, because it's like, you put in the attention-grabbing subtitles to try and keep people's attention, but you didn't put in actual subtitles for people to follow along to. Like, just feels wrong to me. It's kind of like not caring about the craft, but caring about the the graft, I guess. <laughs> caring about the graft, like the graft, not the craft. <laughs> yeah, like, and I, I'm not like hating on like this person, you know, because I know they all just do it because it seems to be the meta. Um, I don't give a shit what the meta is though, which is why I'll probably never be a big YouTuber, but. I kind of just do what I feel is right. Yeah, this is just... its Maybe a, it kind of, I'm a bit of a YouTube boomer, okay? A bit of an old-timer. But I just really like videos that are simple, that don't have a million things popping up on the screen. Like this. I, built the house. I mean, again, they hire editors as, editors as well, and the editors pay to do that, obviously. But just build a bridge connecting the island over it's just too much to for me. I just want to watch someone kind of more chill. I mean, they can be like funny and silly and stuff, but today I get to do something that I've always wanted to do. Are you ready? Ah, Mumbo. Three, two, one. Previously on the Hermitcraft server, See, I really, really want that permit. Who could say no to that? I'm gonna be honest. I should mate, subscribe I to him like... really, because. I only go through phases of watching any Minecraft I stuff could though. But make more diamonds than this. oh, it's just so simple. It's just good at its core. It's just good personalities, you know. This Hermitcraft stuff or Mumbo stuff generally is all I can really watch from Minecraft now because it's actually just simple and clean to reference Kingdom Hearts. Oh mate. <laughs> and that just about brings us to the present day. Like yeah, there's some nice little edits and stuff oh, yes. in here. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Hello, hello, hello. Mumbo. Hello, Green. How's it going? Yes. But it's just simple and it's not trying to be anything else. It's not. Well, it's not trying to grab your attention. It's just good. Um, I don't have anything against people doing like more creative edits because there's obviously creativity in that and there's fun in that. Like, uh, you know, I like doing silly edits sometimes, right? But I don't like doing it too much. I like to try and do it sparingly. And also, I'm still very like, you know, I still don't know too much about editing, obviously, but. Yeah, simplicity. Uh, it's probably my engine. Maybe it's my engineering background. You know, keep it simple, stupid. I'm just used to doing things like what's the simple way of doing this that's effective still rather than trying too hard to grab people's attention. If people watch the video, they watch the video. Uh, pff, whatever. <laughs> you know. Can't understand why it's that fast, yeah. And it is time consuming to do the subtitles. And I don't even write them out fully, right? I just correct YouTube's ones and then space them out properly. Which you'll probably notice if you see my subtitles, they don't have capital letters at the start of the sentences. Because like inserting a capital for every one would make it take even longer. And I feel like I don't really need capitals because it comes up, you know, with each line at a time. So you could say, oh, you could maybe say it was a bit of a half-assed job, but if I was sat here writing out subtitles for my 30-minute videos, it would take so much longer, and I think it's it's kind of unnecessary to do it that much. Um, who even is this? I swear, I don't even know who people on YouTube are anymore. I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> uh, boomer rant. Boomer ramble about it. Oh, back in my day, uh, back in my day, we didn't have all this nonsense, you know. I 
Back in my day, people just uploaded 10 minute playthroughs and that was it. <laughs> uh, 22 million. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, a little bit better because at least it's not just one word at a time. I'll give them that. <laughs> Isn't it a bit late for him to be coming out? I mean, so he's probably, that's probably the point is it's not him anymore, right? Probably her. I don't actually know, but for a while, all I saw of Finster was um, just like dressing up as a girl and tricking people on a Megal. But. I guess they are trans now? I don't know. I have to watch the video to find out, I guess. But I don't know much about Minecraft YouTube other than uh, drama that pops up sometimes. Yeah, I did go through a phase of watching Hermitcraft and then I kind of got tired of it, I guess. Uh, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? You watch something for a while and then you get a bit tired of it and then maybe you come back at some point. Usually people aren't so dedicated that they're always watching something. That's the odd thing that might be like that, but... I don't even want to know about YouTube Shorts. <sighs> I've uploaded like two YouTube Shorts in my time and I just hated it. I hated making them. I was on TikTok very briefly as well and I uploaded some stuff there. Oh, I just... I fucking hated trying to condense it down to like seconds. And like putting it in the portrait format, I felt like I was corrupting my content. I was like taking my poor babies and ruining them. <laughs> like, no, no, why don't do this to my video? I'm just too old fashioned, I guess. Like, is it probably good for your uh, channel? Yeah, yes, well, actually, it's very good for your metrics if you upload shorts because you can drive traction to your channel and up your watch time. I'm like, okay. But I don't care. Is it making my content better? No. Don't care. <laughs> but to each their own, you know. I don't really have a problem with people doing this stuff. I'm not like, oh, you're ruining YouTube. It's just things always change, you know. Things are always changing. But, um... Oh, damn. Oh, it says goodbye FNAF video. Oh, I've never watched one of his game theories. I tried to watch a uh, food theory before and I was... I couldn't keep up with it. It was so fast-paced. I was... I was just like, I don't know what's going on. Much healthier mindset. I think it is, personally. Maybe, you know, I can say that because I'm so small and it's not like it's my job, but, like, there's big YouTubers who don't do that and they're perfectly fine. And I really feel like, and I'm not saying it's the case for everyone, because some people are inherently good at what they do and they do all the tricks and tools of the trade and stuff. But I think in some cases, I would call them, like, plastic YouTubers, where if you strip away all of their nice editing and like a fast paced presentation and all of that stuff and you went and you made them just like raw I think they'd be pretty shit because I don't think their commentary is actually very good I think it's just been held up by the editing and attention grabbing stuff right I mean maybe it's a bit presumptuous for me to say that but uh, just from what I've seen sometimes I think some people are genuinely just actually good inherently at what they're doing have you seen youtube ai update where it picks a color yeah i saw that and then I've, yeah i did green and then half the videos weren't green <laughs> i think it was struggling a bit to find stuff relevant that was green clearly i don't like the environment Oh boy, Minecraft's progression is awful. Here's why.
YouTube Shorts at least is probably better than... Oh my god. It's probably better than uh, TikTok, I don't know. I'm an old man about TikTok as well. I went on it. And, I mean, obviously the algorithm of it shows you stuff. The only channels I followed were Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> you know, and then uh, a YouTuber that I, I, I say watch, I used to watch because it doesn't upload much anymore. But but the actual raw stuff it was feeding me before it knew anything about me, oh, it was dire. Oh, it was so bad. It was brain-rottingly bad. I was like, this is not good. This is not good. I guess if you condition it to give you better stuff, then it's okay, but... NPC TikTokers. Uh, I don't think I saw any of that, although I have heard of that. Um, but it was like... What was it? It was like a picture or something. And then some of them were this thing where it was like a question. And then like a list of options. And it was like A, B, C. I didn't understand what was going on with that. Um... Spelling mistakes abound, because I assume, like, a ten-year-old made it. And then some of it was just... Oh, there was the pointing content. Maybe you maybe you could call them... Well, they weren't really NPCs. The NPCs are the ones where they have, like... People say something and they just say a, a catchphrase, right? They just say, like, an NPC line. Very strange. Um, but... It was like the, the people who point at stuff or like just have themselves reacting where they're just their faces in the corner doing nothing while someone else's video is playing. Because why make your own content when you can just steal other people's, right? Just be a reactor. Mmm, ice cream. So yummy. Yeah, and if they do react, it's the most basic statements ever. <laughs> hey, look at this. They're working on a road. Look at this. Look at the tools they use. I didn't know they used one of those. That's the level of uh, entertainment that we're at at this point, apparently. Why am I still looking at Minecraft here? Full movie. Yeah, I guess. I feel like YouTubers are getting ideas above their station, calling things movies, but okay. <laughs> I guess it technically is an independent movie. Whoa, 41 million views. I've never heard of this person before. Why do they always have really basic skins, by the way? I've noticed this. Let's get started. Oh. Why are they always so basic and, like, undetailed? I made myself a Minecraft skin before, and I took fucking ages to do it. But I was there trying to add, like, all the little, like, shading and stuff. And, like, adding each little, like, different colours and textures on my jacket and stuff. And then, uh... People just... I mean, at least this is, like, a, like a silly thing. But this is just, like... Generic bro. All I know is TikTok is skibbity riz in Ohio. Mm. I understand the skibbity and the riz, unfortunately. Uh, I don't. I still don't really know what the Ohio stuff is, but phantom tax. I have no idea what that is. The only skibbity I want to hear is um. Scatman John. <laughs> Is he still milking that series? Actually, not Scatman John. I mean, fucking. Um, what's the the fuck? This guy. Yeah, he's still doing it. Oh, God, you think this would be done by now, wouldn't you? Fucking hell. I can't say I blame him. I mean, if you were making that much money off of it, 
And he is a good animator. I've seen some of them, like the early ones I've seen. Um, but I love how he does like season 23 and it's just like three episodes. <laughs> like season 22 and then there's season 23. And look at this. Oh, this is new. He started separating them out. Part 69, 69 part 1, 69 part 2, and then 69 the full episode. Four minutes. That is how you milk content. Well done, sir. Very good job, I have to say. You have definitely uh, mastered the art of milking. I don't even hate it either. Like, uh, Do I hate this guy for this? No. Why would I hate it? It's nothing to do with me, but it is funny to see. Uh... Especially since he used to do other videos. Look, oldest. Look at this. Look, other stuff. See? And these were pretty popular as well. I mean, some of them. These are the Half-Life animations and stuff. Gmod. GTA. I mean, I imagine some of these got more popular because of the Skibbity stuff. But Oh, he's always liked toilets, though, huh? Oh yeah, and of course he uploads it as um, shorts as well, right? Not just as the videos, but as the shorts. Must be rolling in it, yeah. Um, they're short videos, except for these season ones. But they're short videos, so they won't have the mid-rolls. So it won't be as lucrative as if you had like, if every one of these videos was 8 minutes or more. Uh, but still, like at 46 million views and such. You know it's going to be, um, this is Scatman John now. <laughs> I mean, if I played Scatman John, I'd get copyright strike because music, but. Yeah, that's the thing as well, is it's like um, Half-Life Gmod. I think it's animated in SFM, actually, Source Filmmaker, but based on Half-Life. Like, there's G-Man, of course. What has he done to G-Man? Oh. Now people are going to know G-Man as the skibbity toilet leader instead of the actual G-Man, you know. Name does fit the channel in a way, yeah. But Scatman John is a uh, singer. He had two famous songs, really. Scatman and... Uh, Scatman's World. I can't play them because of the copyright, but... T 7 million views in 10 hours. He has the... The thing is, I think, as well, that makes this successful... Um, I Stop scatting, I definitely can't. That makes this successful is they don't have any dialogue, right? They don't have any like English language. They're not talking. The characters aren't talking. They're just doing stuff. So it's kind of accessible to any language anywhere in the world. That obviously really helps with views because um, anyone can watch it and understand. Okay, these camera people are fighting the toilet people. Toilet monsters, okay, and it's all through gestures and animation and stuff. There's no dialogue, so it has worldwide appeal if you're six years old or whatever. <laughs> but it is crazy. Uh, some of the ideas are kind of cool, like the camera, like things. And like his little designs, you know, it's not all like terrible. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are worse things. There are worse content farms for sure. But I like how this makes it seem like a search, I mean, a scar man, but Scatman John and I got to this.
Oh, man. Yeah. Well, what a way to end, huh? End on a skibbity toilet. Uh, what a strange ending, yeah. <laughs> That's streams for you, especially non-gaming streams. Just goes wherever, wherever you get taken. Wherever you get taken. Uh, oh, by the way, you know it's great when it's uh, bots in the comments, and that's basically it. <laughs> this was one of the best episodes yet. This series just keeps getting better and better. Look, dead internet. Look, bots talking to bots. You love to see it. This is a real comment, or it's a bot that's copied a real comment, which definitely happens as well. I made you a present. It. A sunglasses emoji celebration. Ha 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 ha. I love your videos. I really liked the video, chapter 71, and I also liked when Skibbity Toilet, the boss, came out. Like, if I ever get, like, every YouTuber who's, I mean, every YouTuber actually gets bots. I've had a couple of bots on videos. Like, you know, those ones that are like, hey, check out this thing for free follows. <laughs> and that kind of thing. Uh, everyone gets them. But if you've got a channel where most of the comments are bots, I think that's a real indication of uh, what kind of channel it is, right? If my, if my videos were just full of bots, then... Uh, I do wonder, does he potentially view bot mm, or comment bot? Because more comments means more engagement, means more algorithm push, right? Maybe he does. I can't say for sure, but might do. You know, I can't, no slander, you know, I can't say anything allegedly. <laughs> Uh, it was always like comments like um, I saw on other channels. It was like, can we all agree that he puts so much work into his videos? <laughs> I can't see any of those here. The, maybe the bots have moved on from that one. Oh, I... Thing is, this guy's gonna have to end this at some point. Nothing lasts forever. So, the amount of kids who are gonna cry because their favorite series has ended, Skibbity Toilet has finally ended. What a sad, sad day that will be. I thought I saw a thing about Russia, because yeah, I think he's Russian. Russia, like, government investigating this for being like harmful for the public or something for the Russian audience. <laughs> Be honored if I got at least one bot. <laughs> You've made it. You've got the bots. Oh, I don't seem to do that comment anymore. That's a shame. That was all classic, you know. Can we really agree that this guy deserves way more? Can we agree that this guy puts so much love into his videos? Uh, there's me with my children. Uh, yeah, so as far as, like, uh, videos go, I'm going to be probably doing... Yeah, I don't know what first, but maybe a Freezer Air Deluxe first. Or it would be one of the mobile things. Yeah, so something like that, and then maybe throw in a little bit of the freezer air flash to do the the stacking up silliness, right? Sims 3, probably do another Sims 3 part. I really need to f think about like something else to do as well. I don't just want to do like those two things on and like between those two things again and again. I actually want to slow down a bit. In fact, I kind of want to slow down as a whole, because these like first playthrough videos I like, do very fast paced kind of editing 
I cut a lot out. The amount of cut content, technically, that there is. <laughs> there was a whole bit on the... Um, what's it called? Scooper here. There was a whole bit on the Scooper here where I started doing all of my character voices, like... I was doing a bit about how you can go to this restaurant, and Voxen's talking to you, and then you go to this restaurant, and Vibes is giving you your order, and you go to here, and Jim Allen's give you a little face stab, you know? And then it was just too long, so I cut it out, but there's so much that gets cut out. <laughs> um, the Sims 3 videos are actually more, like, uh, less cut down. I recorded for, like, an hour and ten, and then I cut that down to 30 minutes or less for Sims 3 so far so yeah those actually it's just a lot happens in that game so it's very easy just to keep stuff but i do want to chill out a little bit and try and blooper video to be fair there probably could be bloopers but it'd mostly just be me stumbling over words and redoing the line redoing what i'm saying another reason why i don't stream it because if you stream it you can't just start redoing every line until you well, it's not like it takes me ages but if you say something and then you think oh i didn't like how i said that in a video you can just redo it and then move the line on the audio track to the right place whereas on a stream if you start repeating yourself all the time it's going to be really fucking weird isn't it so that's another reason why streams and videos don't mix very well But it's simple editing, but it takes longer than you might think because I do so much tweaking with like where the audio is. I move stuff up and down the track and I tweak little like volume levels sometimes. I'm still battling my audio to be honest to get it to sound how I want, but yeah, and just sometimes I move stuff around. It's just lots of little things add up, right? That's the thing. I don't think I'd ever want to like hire an edit editor, though, if I got to that point. Because I like doing it. It's a bit tedious sometimes, but I like having control of it. It's nice that I can be sure that it's my editing and not like just someone else's thing. And also, if all I did was record and then handed it off to editors to edit... I mean, what would I even be doing? I'd just be recording stuff. Like, I like doing multiple things. I like making the thumbnails because I really enjoy that. I like editing because that's a more sort of just down-to-earth, get-down-to-business, just editing. You can't have fun all the time. It's got to be a bit of, like, tedium to it, I think, to make it worthwhile. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can't just be, woo, fun, fun. If a video was a bit um, of a struggle, a lot of time I think it means it might actually be a good video. Sometimes it might not be, but... If everything comes really easy, then maybe you're not trying hard enough. I mean, if you just want to have fun, that's fine. But for me, I like to actually... I like to feel like I'm actually working on a project. So, Yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, I'll probably stream... Uh, I don't know if I'll stream like next weekend because I won't be able to on Sunday. But I wouldn't mind streaming every two weeks. Maybe if it goes well, like even once a week, but that might be too much. Don't know, but it wouldn't be any more than once a week anyway, so that'd be the limit. But alas, I must go as fun as it is. It is quite late here now, so... Yeah, there'll be some kind of video this week, hopefully, unless something happens. Because February was really kind of messed up. A lot of shit got in the way in February. I was only able to upload four videos, which kind of sucked. But hopefully uh, we'll get more chances in March. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. So.